Jesus. Hello. Welcome to Friday, man. Ah, brilliant. It didn't take too long to get here. We had a short week. But still, it's Friday. And that's just magnificent news, friends. Do you know? So you join us here uh, with a flight simulation stream. A simulation stream. And uh, well, we're doing something kind of mad, right? Wait till I tell you what we're doing now, right? Is my camera after changing or something? There's more desk area. Oh, I could have moved it. The cat is in the chair behind it, you see. She's over there, look. Do you know? And, um, yes, yes, yes. Cats and the uh, right, co-pilot and stuff. Uh, but anyway, wait and hear this, right? So, after learning about BAE systems, searching for an innovative way to move on some 100 plus 146s in its portfolio, a company called Explorer One. They came up with an interesting concept. It was to allow the 146 operate in bush regions with unprepared runways. Now, that sounds like a challenge. So, the 146 needs about 3,000 feet of runway length in order to make it so that, you know, it can do the thing. So, I've, uh, <clears throat> I've chosen a flight plan tonight that's going to give the 146 Professional Version 2 a run for its money. This could end terribly, terribly well or terribly bad. Uh, we're going to depart here out of Alaska, Merle K. Smith Airport, Papa Alpha Charlie uh, Victor. And we're going to head over the glaciers. Glaciers. Glaci glaciers, isn't it? Glaciers. Anyway, uh, our first stop is at a place called uh, Chizana. And it's simply just Charlie Charlie Zulu November. The airfield has a grass strip that runs between a forest. And there's people who look at you like, you know, you've a head in you, right? Um, it sounds perfectly safe. For our next leg, we're going to head out over Canada and we're going to land at a place called Haynes Junction Airstrip, uh, Charlie Yankee Hotel Tango. Uh, that one being a gravel runway and, well, we need to see can we operate the 146 as if it were some sort of a bush plane. It sounds relatively simple, but that's what we're going to have to do and, uh, well, let's, let's get to it, you know. So how was your week? How are you? Jason got no sleep on Wednesday night. The buzz was unreal, man. Never seen nothing like it. And uh, good news. Good news. I got me Skoda back today. I wasn't ready yesterday. There was a power cut at the garage in which they were to do the repairs. Well, an alternator. It needed an alternator. So, you know me. Hagelin. Uh, I got a second-hand alternator. Well, a reconditioned alternator. Right? It's, it's like about a quarter of the price. Yeah, that'll do. It was still... You're right, it's still a bit 300 quid for an off, second hand. What about Skoda thinking? Let's make these wild expensive. Uh, but anyway, the good news is it's back driving. Brilliant! The Skoda is alive and well, and it now sits in me parking spot outside my house. Brilliant, do you know? So, um, yeah, I was I had to drive a van, a small little van, an old Citroen. Not like a Berlingo, bigger than a Berlingo, but it had the speed, capacity, and capability, you know, of a donkey and a cart. Right, do you know what I mean? Not to 60 in about uh, four days, maybe five. And uh, it was grand and all. I, I needed it for sure, but uh, you can't bet the good old Skoda, huh? The comfort. It's like sitting on a couch. But you remember them old chairs from years ago? In Europe, in Ireland especially, we didn't have all these fancy things, you know, that you had in England or in America. The lazy boy to us was your man three doors down, right? That was a lazy boy to us. And then we realised, you know, that's actually a chair, huh? Yeah, and it's a, a reclining chair. You mean like a rocking chair? No, 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 reclining. There's a difference. And they had, you know, cup holders in it. This was mad to us. Uh, and now we've gone the opposite side. We've stuff now that we're saying, you know, here's the chair for the chair that sits in your chair. R right, uh, we've gone, we've lost the plot, lost the plot. So, um, of course, we invented all these things. We just forgot we invented them. It makes total sense, do you know? Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> who's here on a Friday? Uh, it's, I tell you, so look at this big E. Just... Now, let me know how those alert sounds are, because I turned them all down yesterday. Uh, very difficult. I had to play every single alert sound because it's coming through two audio channels, you see? And one of them decided to update itself with a recent update of OBS, and that's why it became shock and loud. But if they're very quiet now, it could be the case that I've turned them down too low. So I'm hoping they're better. You know, I'd be grateful if you could tell me, because then I'd be like, ah, grand, that's a job done. But if you don't tell me, I'd be like, you know, Jesus, I wonder were they any good, you know? 
My work here is done. Uh, but anyway, who's here? Look, Tarnish Mossman, good to see you. Lead Ballooner, welcome in. Dragon 617, happy Friday. Viper Strike in with the raid. Thank you very, very much indeed, my guy. Hope you're keeping well. And welcome in, Raiders. Super Ty rambles in. Air Wolf is in the house. Vacuum, good evening. Daz Higgy, he says, Murph, looking forward to seeing how the 146 performs. I think the best voice at the moment in all of, you know, the internet has to be the Just Flight guy. That's the name. Today, we're watching in the video, How to 146, the best accent in the business. It's amazing, isn't it? Right? The UNS one, and you can press it there. It's a Geordie accent, but it's absolutely brilliant, right? Absolutely brilliant. So uh, I can't do that accent, but I'll work on it. Do you know what I mean? Video or video? Video. <laughs> right? Fantastic. Uh, but anyway, nice up. Good to see you. Cyrus T. Welcome aboard, man. Uh, now, let me see. You might need to redo this when the 7.3 comes out. Oh, the 7.3.2. Yes. Um, Viper Strike had a flight in the DC-6 from Basilia to Rio de Janeiro. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, now, let me see. Navnak, good to see you. 146 reasons to tune in. Indeed. Kanzui is here. Hello, Kanzui. Hemingbird bursts in the door whilst being driven on a coach. Says, I had to get a second job at a bakery to make ends meet. I needed the dough. Sorry, that was crummy. That was a crummy pun. I don't stand for good buddy. You needed the dough, spelled K-N-E-A-D. That's very, that's like, my brain hasn't turned on yet, but that's fantastic. It's great to see you, Hemingbird. Wait now, if you're on a mode of public transport on a bus, right, um, what would happen if you, like, I imagine you're wearing headphones, unless, you know, everyone on the bus can hear my voice. <laughs> Hello, people on a, bu a bus, right. Um, <clears throat> but what if you started laughing? Do they just think, like, do you have to sit on your own? You could be just sitting there going, <laughs> right, and then the whole thing takes off. Wah! You'd be laughing like a musketeer. They won't know what to make of you. Don't be sitting beside your own, she's freaking nuts. Do you know, that could happen. That'll, that'll definitely happen. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Soaring AJ, good to see you. Toto's in the house, welcome aboard. Uh, let me see now. Filthy, welcome in. Jesus, it's all busy here, lads. Uh, now, we're, oh, the thing has stopped. Uh, Led Ballooner has subscribed to the channel for three months. Thank you very, very much indeed, my guy. Great to see you. Six Knots is here. 36 months, Six Knots. Jesus. How are you, man? You're looking well. Shuffle Shoes shuffles in. AJH John. Uh, Gassius Maximus says, Happy Friday, everyone. Is Two Tone showing off his new golden verbal control? Shh, no. I should really do that for the crack, though. Do you know, paint them up or something. I could get away with that, couldn't I? I just think I'm insane. I'm used to it. Ah, <laughs> brilliant. Uh, Le Plan, right, we'll get to, I'll show you what way the plan is going to work. I'll go through it here on Simbrief because with the UNS, a little bit tricky. So anyone who's struggling with the 146, well, I'll explain to you how the devil's going to work, right? Uh, now, let me see. Motley, welcome in, man. Hope all is well. Captain Meowingtons is here. Hangar Studios has subscribed two months, man. Thank you very, very much. It's great to see you. God almighty is flat out. Uh, stick figure, happy Friday. Echo Tango, hello. Welcome in, man. Uh, Dougal McTavish, the chairman. Dougal, did the thing work with the yoke and the stuff? I'm terribly elaborate um, and direct, but uh, Dougal's friends list doesn't seem to be working inside the sim. So uh, we, we, we said we'd go the opposite way to see would it work. And, uh, well, ho fingers crossed, man. Uh, Spitfire RAF 100 is in the chat. Good to see you. B. Carlo, happy Friday. Canoe Head 2. He says, this internet makes the world seem so small. From far and wide, how are you now? AJH, man. It's good to see you. Hope you're having a great day. Vacuum uh, is here a second time. Goblin Zeus, good evening. Kanzui says, I'm in the place where voices meet. Sounds terribly romantic. Uh, in the Discord thingamabobby, he says. Yeah, yeah, the Discord thingamabobby, uh, invented in 1977, along with Sputnik. Oh, wait, no, Voyager. Oh, Jesus, Voyager 2. That went in 77. I remember it well. I wasn't born. But yeah, was it a Voyager 2? I'm almost certain it was. The SETI program and all that. Ah, <laughs> brilliant. They they trialed that in Leitrim. It didn't work there either, but sure, listen. Lee McKeelow, Mike, good evening. Hope all is well. Uh, Eagle Castellet is here. Welcome in. Rob MCR subscribing for 38 months. It's great to see you, man, and thank you very, very much indeed. Rambog Mord is in the house. Tell me, did you fix your tale of woe because you deleted Umbantu or Ubatu? What's that operating system called? Sounds very confusing. Uh, hope you're well, man. Patrick is in the house. How are you, Patrick? 
Happy Friday, man. Uh, P.S. Mirandai. Hello there. Hope you're well. How are we today? We're doing grand. We're here in Alaska. Damn, then we're going to Canada, eh? Brilliant. Uh, Black Ice Gabe. We have a Black Ice Gabe is in the house. He says, good Friday, everyone. Back in harness this weekend after a long five months off. I'm looking forward to seven months work flat out with no remission. Really? Do you like work seven months on and then five months off? Wait, now hang on. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's twelve. Yeah. I mean, I mean mathematically it makes sense. Jesus. Uh, it's good to see you. Wacka Mo is here. Welcome in. Biggles. Welcome in. Julia Glaciers. Julia Glacier. Yeah, I can't see anything inappropriate for that sentence. Good to see you, Biggles. Uh, right, now where are we at? Zybok Doc calling from Denmark. Hello from Tipperary. Hope all is well, my dude. Uh, Canada. Uh, I'll put a pot of the tea on, he says. Can we expect 114 plus? 146 plus, we hope. Muse fan bursts in the door. How he is his mad jokes, is, he says, in a proud and happy voice. It's great to see you, man. Dr. Notham is here. Mr. Dan is here. We're all going to crash. So a usual Murph stream. Dan. Dan. <laughs> Dan. Are you flying the Concorde? Um, what's the top speed of a BAE 146? A two something. 250-ish? 70-ish? It can move. The thing can move. Uh, Nutty Slack is here. It's good to see you. Uh, now, let me see. We're catching up here. Gabe says, Murph, did you pray to St. Anthony to get the magnificent Skoda? I sure listen. The Skoda, it needs a terrible wash, though. Jesus, it's covered in all sorts. Dust, dirt, grime, other stuff. It's filthy. Filthy. It needs a wash. And we have a storm on the way tomorrow. Storm Kathleen is on the way to Ireland tomorrow. Going to be bashing across the south and west coasts. It's going to be actually fairly lively. Make sure you get into Flight Simulator tomorrow morning at around 9 o'clock and fly down the southwest of Ireland. It's going to be fun. It's like, it's 120 kilometer winds. Gusts, rather. Friggin' nuts, right? I'm just waiting for your one to come on the telly. You know, met Aaron. Don't make any necessary sandwiches. That you're, you know, don't take unnecessary risks. Do you remember that one? What was the name again? We'll have to watch it, you know. Oh, hang on. Tunage. Asher Khmer. Ooh. Did I tell you it's Friday? Right? This is the sort of song now, you know. If you were wearing a shirt, you might undo the top button. If you were wearing a dress, you might raise it up a little. If you were wearing some Crocs, you're already there, baby. Right? Yes. Ooh. Right, now, where was I? I was over here, look, before I interrupted myself. With myself. Uh, <clears throat> where are we now? Uh, Jesus. Haynes Airport is a manual landing. Is it a manual landing? They're all manual landings. Oh, yes. There's no ALSs here tonight. Uh, and if there is, we need to turn them off. Aileron's into wind. Rambles in. The hymn. He says, uh, just a quick hello, Marv. At a rock gig. Jesus, uh, have a good stream and don't ruin the landing gear too much. The king will be upset. Very good. Enjoy your rock concert. Young, the youth of today and their concerts. Right, brilliant. Uh, Prime, thank you very much. Sterling, good to see you, man. Super Ty says they're quiet. Balls. I'll need to fix that. Larger Life, good to see you. Wired Lad is here. I was in Ireland about five years ago. People there coming out pointing at planes. What is that flying machine? Yeah, yeah. That's a big bird, isn't it? Spice Bazaar, welcome in. Sounds good, sounds good. Okay, what's the server? Southeast Asian server. That's the plan. Now, let me see. Uh, love the Geordie accent. I stuck with a Birmingham accent myself. I love the Geordie accent, you know. Uh, now, where are we at? Uh, it's Jay. Good to see you. Let's go, indeed. Greg Orr, 20 months, man. Thank you very, very much indeed. I got another new light. You just can't see it. It's over here, look. Well, you might be able to see it. Do you see, like, the little dots behind the, the that gadget? They're like starlights. Starlights! But you can't see them terribly well. They work better when the, you know, they're on the curtains, look. Because they usually have disco lights. And that sort of a, you know, Egypt uh, or Divil. They came out as Dijl. Um, the disco lights that just kind of do their stuff, right? And um, one of them keeps breaking. So I said, I'll fix that. And I got a different light. And I didn't realise it has star lights. Right? 
I mean, why didn't we have these things when we were younger? Anyway, Jamelmu, good evening. Hope you're well. Uh, now, they were superb. Are we still talking about cars? Um, now, uh, let me see. Nighthawk, good to see you. Mr. Dan says, yeah, everyone can hear your voice and go, oh, Jesus, the crazy on the bus. Yeah, right. Still got 20 minutes. Rand, Rain is here. Good to see you, man. Uh, right, we're catching up. Kaharia, the lovely Kaharia. You're very welcome in. No, she didn't. And be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Balut, 34 months in a row Jesus, thank you very very much indeed my man uh, Great to see you Now let me see, Dread Medis is here uh, Gabe says, I think it's a rule of thumb That Hemingbird is left sitting on her own Just to be safe Her safety or the safety of others That's what the question, you know uh, Speed NYC, happy Friday Flipper Alloy is here, good afternoon man uh, Dougal says, no, no it didn't Balls Right, the, the, the search for the solution continues, Dougal. Uh, I, just, I thought it was onto a good thing with that. Anyway, uh, we'll try something else. Bronco Buster is here. Hello this good Friday. Hello. Welcome in, man. Uh, now let me see. Predict 75 minutes. Jesus. Uh, Energizer is here. He says, ah, Jesus, it's Friday once more. Welcome in, man. Good to see you. Uh, Ubuntu. Is that what it is? Ah, right, okay. Uh, if I could fly the Concorde... You could fly the Concorde. Yes, it says, why not? 9 a.m. or p.m., says Patrick. Huh? P.m. Who? A.m. A.m., Patrick. It's on in the morning. The morning, Patrick. You have to get up early now tomorrow. Right. The Bull Bandit is here. It's good to see you. More Cowbell Cody. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, Red Baron. Rad Baron, rather. Good to see you. Woo, he says. Uh, 15 streams in a row. God almighty. Trees and Manion. It was Trees and Manion. Don't make unnecessary journeys. You know, it's just people swimming in the water. That's so Ireland, by the way. The biggest storm that ever hit the country. And what do we do? Should we go for a swim? All right, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Corn Wolf, good to see you. Uh, now, read it again, Murph. Read what again? What did I do now? Um, lead boots needed for an extremely heavy hat. Uh-oh. Uh, now, spoiler alert. Did a couple of circuits uh, in the 146. Sterling, that doesn't matter if you made it. We still have to make it. And I probably won't. Then again, you know, I could surprise myself. Uh, we could do it. Do you know? Uh, now, let me see. Well, quiet to not go on oh, my ears. Ah, super tight. Right, grand. I think I get you. So you can still hear them, but they're not like, ah, me ears. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, right, now, incredibly, people are swimming in the sea. Ah, oh, brilliant. Uh, Tritz Four is here. It's good to see you. Scary Wolf. I can't see you terribly well. You can't see me terribly well. Oh, um... Now, something's very shiny on the back of your head. Listen, shh, shh, enough of that now. Uh, Nighthawk, we'll do a flight plan here now in a moment. Uh, I went out with my brummy mate to a posh gaff. What's a brummy mate? I asked if he needed a kipper tie. He said, yes, ploys, with milk and three sugars. I'll just wait until that train of thought arrives at my station so I can get on. I've completely lost that one. I went out with me brummy mate to a posh gaff. Oh, wait, the accent. Yes, please. Ah, now I see what you're saying. Look, see, see, we got there. Brilliant. Someone from Birmingham. Yes, yes, yes. I get it now. What? <laughs> Jesus. I let it this bit out. Sun Jammer's good to see it. Uh, Kozaki Flyer's in the house. Another chance to practice the jug. I need all I can get. Yeah, it's. I've been messing with it a little bit. Uh, the sounds are... Near. Uh, we need to kind of, you know... But yes, cup of tea. Yes, uh, he caught up. I did catch up. Um, right, now, where are we at? Ricky, uh, Ricardo. Richie Ricardo, good to see you. Brummy mate. It's a friend from Birmingham. Do I have any brummies? I'm sure I do. Hands up, who's from Birmingham? We're now friends. So I was talking to me brummy the other day. You're what? Yes, that's right. See... And don't act, you know, anyone from Ireland, don't pretend you knew what that was unless you knew someone from there. You know, Muse fan. Not looking at anyone. Muse fan, you know. Um, I lost, wait now, I lost the feed there. I'll have to watch it back. Don't, don't. There was nothing wrong at all, Hemingbird. I got what you said instantly without having to read it twice. Or three times. Sun Jammer and Nutty Slack. My brummies. Right, brilliant. We're learning things together. Um, got to be back country to get that. Yeah. No, wait, what? Jesus, I'm totally lost now. Uh, Nutty Slack is famous. <laughs> he is. He's famous from Birmingham. Uh, right, so we have a couple of things to do uh, t for the thing. I want to show you um, when it comes to flight planning with this machine, right? So we'll come over here for the moment, right? 
and I need to move my microphone and stuff just to make it all work, right? And, uh, oh, do you know what I never did? I never said hello to our YouTube people. Hello, people on YouTube. You're very welcome in. Who's here? Twitch boy, good to see you. Tom Jordan, Prima Victoria is in. And uh, let me see, Jeb K. Hey, lads. Good to see everyone on YouTube and on Twitch. You're very welcome aboard. Uh, hello, 146. Look at the state of this thing. Uh, so, right, now, uh, I think the gag there was a kipper tie. Sound like Brummy saying a cup of tea. A kipper tie. A kipper tie? A kipper tie? Oh, wait! I see what you did now. It eventually sunk in there. Kipper tie. <sighs> right, anyway. Listen, it could be worse, right? I don't know how, but it could be worse. So here's our screen, and, uh, well, I'm going to show Hello you... Hello there. Hello there. I'm going to show you our flight plan, right? <laughs> so on Navigraph, if it was just a uh, VFR flight, we would be going from here to there, and then there to here, right? Very straightforward. However, however, uh, if we want to put this into the FMS or indeed now the new UNS, well, there's a couple of things we need to do. First and foremost, we're going to be using SimBrief, the free website, and we're also going to be using a free program called the SimBrief Downloader. You can pick up this downloader for free. Uh, it's You'll see it on the gadget. Uh, where do you find it? Actually, if you try and export the flight, uh, we need to generate it first. But when you go to generate it, you'll see an option where you can download the SimBrief downloader. Now, this is genius. All you need to do, lads, all you need to do, when this loads up, it's going to ask you where your installation simulator is, and then you point it to whatever add-on. In our case, it's just flights 146, and it's going to say it should find it itself. If not, it tends to be in, you know, your computer's name or your profile's name, application data, local packages, Microsoft Flight Sim, local state packages, just flight 146, it'll put it in there itself, right? So that's just going to pop in the flight plan into the location for you. So when, for instance, you're going to generate the flight plan, everything should work automatically and it'll instantly download your plan. Now, based on our flight for this evening, we are departing out of Papa Alpha Charlie Victor and we want to do our first landing at Charlie Zulu November. Well, if we put these details into SimBrief, it's going to try and give you a full uh, IFR flight and it's going to drop in maybe a waypoint or an airway or whatever, right? Uh, there is a bit of jiggery pokery that you can customize this route. And how to do that, if you're on SimBrief, we'll have a look over here on the right hand side because you can see the route, but you can also see airways, waypoints, airspace. You can see a whole load of stuff. So, whatever recommendation it's giving you, you know, selected route. If I were to leave the Omson part, right? So I've gotten rid of that. And if I want to say, well, analyze the route, well, that is my route. It's just going to give me airport to airport. Okay. So you can delete those divils out if you wish. However, because we are flying uh, in mad sort of weather, you may want to go via a, 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 um, an IFR route, right? To do that, if you zoom in, you're going to find, because you have these little gadgets up here turned on, airways, waypoints, all that jazz, well, you can go now looking on the SimBrief map to figure out, well, hang on, can I fly to like an airway or a waypoint? And the answer is yes. And you can manually just, you know, read them off the screen here and say, right, here's one, WRNGL, WRNGL, right? There's a, there's a waypoint up there because we want to be able to tell the airplane we want you to go this direction. So if I analyze this new route, do you see the way it's added in that custom waypoint just for me? Pretty handy, right? Uh, Richie says, in the new version, uh, you can pull it directly from SimBrief. When did they release that? Uh, Keith the Farrell is here. Good to see you, Keith. Uh, SimBrief downloader is a must-have, 100%. You know, Think Ozzy Osbourne saying cup of tea. Ah, uh, cup of tea, Sharon. A couple of days ago. I didn't notice it. Wait, are you sure? If you're using the UNS, I, I didn't think you could. Hang on a second. Let's jump into the airplane. <laughs> Hello, airplane. Uh, right, let's see. So we're on ground power. So we'll get our batteries on. We'll activate our ground power. And we'll just turn on our avionics here for a minute. So I know you can import the flight plan into here, right? Uh, from their forums, it pulls it, it pull, it now pulls it from your tablet. Well, sir, why didn't we read that, Murphy? 
Right, okay. Well, don't worry about that for the minute, so if this works. Uh, go back in here. So we're going to go to Wrangle. That's our first waypoint. So I'm going to generate the flight. Or if you want, I can share the flight. But I'll generate the flight, and let's see what happens here. And if I can pull this in, we're laughing, right? Uh, Simbrief doesn't have the Concord. No, Mr. Dan, but you can download a separate uh, profile. Okay, now that was Simbrief downloader saying, hey, I've just grabbed you the file. But let's see now, can we auto-import the gadget in? So we're going to say, load this. Uh, direct wrangle. Right. Summary meter output. So there's our flight plan. Grand. Uh, let me see. Go back into here. Aircraft. Imports. Of, yes. For payload. Import it. Right. Now, for this to go in... Let me see. For this to go into these units here, turn these on now for a second, right? Let's have a look to see whether they actually just drop it in there for us. Because if it does, this becomes like so much more easier. Do you know what I mean? If it doesn't, though, I'll show you how to do it. So it's going to say nav dot is correct. Uh, yeah, that's all okay. Accept that. All right, so if you go to the flight plan page. Copy flight plan route. This is coming up because it's now in the correct folder. So how do you just put it in? Or how do you get the tablet to, to throw it into the UNS? Does anyone know? Is there a button for that? Let's see. Sync. State saving. Pilot. Cabin. FMS. Navigraph. Yes, let me see. Not sure if it makes its way to the UNS. Ah, it doesn't. Grant. I wasn't aware it did. So that's why we're doing it this way. No, that's okay. Right, so you'll notice... It, the tablet doesn't automatically connect your flight plan into the UNS. So that's how we do it. We do it via SimBrief and then the SimBrief downloader. So I've put in my own little flight plan here, right? If you want to copy the route, I'll put in the route. So let me see, copy this. And I'm going to show you now two ways of putting this into the aircraft. All right. Uh, let me see here now. We're into this devil for the moment. <laughs> Uno momento, mi numero unos. Uh, Murph is flying that. No, it's root. There's the root. Edit that. Right, so. Right, lads, if you put in exclamation point root, if you do it now, it'll give you the new root, okay? So, there's two ways to do this. Because I'm using the SimLink down or the SimBrief downloader, this excellent bit of software, and it just runs in the background. There's no frame rate impact. It's a nothingness. It, it's just there. And all it's doing, it's taking the data from SimBrief, it saves it to an RTE file, and then it puts it where JustFlight needs it. That's all it does, right? So, with that said and done, we can go into our gadget here, into the flight plan. Now, if we want to import the flight plan that we've just downloaded using SimBrief, well, click on copy, uh, copy route. And any route that's in that folder is going to start appearing here. For example, if you download 20 different files, they'll all start appearing in there. And to select it, you put in the number that's beside it. So in this case, we press number one into the select route and hit enter and it'll load up. Right? Right. What if you wanted to put the gadget in manually? Well, we can put it in manually. So the route is going to be our first uh, part is going to be uh, our departure. So we'll put in P. No, we won't. We'll put in click the flight plan page again so we're going to put in p uh where is this now pa why aren't you doing that now there we go pacv is it yeah pacv pacv and enter merrill k mudhole smith yes that is the gadget we're looking for we accept Okay, where's our second waypoint? And if it's a waypoint or an airway, it depends where you're going to throw them in, right? So our second one is just going to be this wrangle one. So it's going to be uh, W or NGL. Enter. And it's going to give you a lot long or your nav. Yeah, accept. And then our third waypoint is actually going to be our first stop of the night. And we can put it in either C uh, or, or CZN or CZ. CCZN, right? And enter. Tizana. Brilliant. So that is what our flight looks like now. We're taking off from here. That's a waypoint and we're going to land there. Now we can go into more detail. For instance, if we were to click on 
any of the waypoints, any of the action keys, we can see, uh, we can delete it. We can get some information about it uh, and there's other bits and bobs in here we can grab as well. If we hit the menu page, press on the menu page, you'll see, hang on, we can put in, um, you know, uh, present position to waypoint. That's almost like a direct to. Your departure, delete the flight plan, store the flight plan, load an ATC route. Unless it's in here, is it? Load ATC route, unsure. Hmm. Uh, arrival and then so on. So we'll do a departure, right? So looking at the plan that we just put in, we're departing from runway 27. And how the UNS works, we don't just put in 27. We have to select the number with the action key. So we're going to say, look, it's number three. Okay, we want number three, runway number three. Enter. Do we have a SID? Negative. There's no SID, so we're just going to leave that blank. Okay. Back to our flight plan. Back into menu. And we'll put in the arrival. So what's our arrival? Well, it's going to be runway 30. We'll select 2 and we'll hit enter. There's no star available. Uh, is there an approach available? I wouldn't say so. If there was, this is where you would select your approaches and all that sort of jazz as well. All right. So that's where they go. So after that, you've, you know, you've put in your flight details. Then you'd have your fuel page. Uh, and we go into our fuel then because, well, we're, according to our flight plan that has been inputted into this gadget, right? Um, well, that's how it's all going to look. So we can say, look, we want to load the aircraft. Now, we can use this realistically um, or we can use it, you know, instantly or whatever. So it's, it's waiting for GSX. I don't think this is going to work because I've turned off GSX. And Murphy. Uh, let me see here now. So we can say board the aircraft. So let me see. 64. Waiting for GSX boarding. Okay, so it wants GSX to do it, right? So we're going to say request boarding. boarding requested. And uh, Alaska, sure, why not? So it's opened up the additional doors and it now says boarding is in progress. Okay. So if we have a look around, GSX should start come to life. Although I'm having issues with GSX, so it's, you can see it's not actually working there which is a bit of a pain. So uh, to get around that, if you're like me and you're having all these issues, right? Um, there's a couple of things we can do. Kill GSX. Because sometimes it's brilliant and sometimes it'll just absolutely wreck your head, right? If we go back into our options here, disable GSX handling. Can we, can't we, can we, can't we? Why can't we? Come on, you devil. There should be a way that we can just turn that off. Boarding is in progress. Okay, so it's com I've completely shagged it. So let's just restart this here now, right? I have a problem with GSX. Sometimes it's brilliant and then sometimes it just doesn't work. You ever get that issue with GSX? You love to hate it. When it works, it's brilliant. When it doesn't work, it's just like, oh, really? Right, so no, GSX, we don't want you in the sim at all now. Go away with yourself. Right. So this Kootle engine needs to be killed completely, right? So how do we... Loading menu. Get rid of the menu. Oh, yes. See what I mean? Technology, right? Epic Fool, it's good to see you. Hang on, I need to fix this. I'll nuke it another way. Right, now. Is it off? She's off. Brilliant. Right, let's see what we can do here again. Import, yes, import it. Options. Can I turn it off? Now we can turn off GSX handling. Yeah? Brilliant. So we're now going to go down to this gadget. Uh, now, packs total. That's all totally freaking out. Load the flight. Okay. Then we want to go to aircraft. Can we reset that? Realistic. Instant or 20 minutes. We're going to say, re we're going to say, uh, instant. Packs total 700. Where are you going, lad? Seven. That's not right. Zero, seven, seven. Does that work? There we go. 77, right? Now let's just double check with Simbrief on our flight plan because we'll have to do this manually now. This shouldn't happen to you because, you know, uh, right. Passenger count is 75. So let's put in 75. 75, start boarding, start boarding, boarding in progress, boarding complete, brilliant. Now, the weight and balance, we're going to put this in manually, so, uh, 
Uh, zero fuel weight, 29,484. So we're going to say 29,484. Enter. Uh, fuel that we're taking is going to be 3818, correct? And what else do we have? Empty weight, fuel weight. I think we're looking. Why is that flashing there, look? Packs total. Yeah, that's just weird, lads, isn't it? Hmm. Right, are we good now? Already complete. Brilliant. Hide that. Right, now we're good. Uh, cold and dark, that's all okay. Ground power. Turn that devil back on. And she should start doing her thing. So, batteries. One and two. Do we have sounds working? Don't tell me I've broken it. Seatbelts, they'll make a sound. Okay, I think we're okay. Uh, entry, logo, the whole lot. Right, grand. Now come down to these gadgets to make sure they're working. Jeez, we're doing well here, lads. This is great crack, isn't it? Jesus. We're supposed to be bush flying it, not breaking it. Uh, now, let me see. No, it's, it's, it, the issue 100% is, um, GSX, 100%. Right, let's start again. So, flight plan. <laughs> so, as I said, we could do it manually, or if you wish, we could import the devil uh, from over here. So, I'll just, I'll do the import now, because it's the same, right? Very same flight. So, here we go. That's not right at all. Ah, lads, we're having a headache. Delete the flight plan. Let's start again. PA CV. Uh, first waypoint. Then it's over to what it was W or NGL. Uh, w or NGL. Tank hole. And then it's going to be C B N. Didn't like that. C C V N. C C V N. C C uh, V N. Right. That's not right. C C Z N. I'll go far, lads. Follow me. C C Z N. Enter. Accept. Right. Grand. Thanks very much. Uh, menu. Departure. Runway 27. Number 3. 3. Enter. There's no SID. Back to flight plan. Let's go to menu. Arrive. It's going to be onto runway uh, 30. That's number 2. And we'll enter. We've no star. We've no approach. That's all grand. Now we'll go back into where our fuel was. Huh, we're getting there now. So basic weight 23818. 23818. Grand. Fuel 3318. Let's have a look. Uh, PAX Cargo, so PAX is 77, so we're going to put up here PAX 77, 77, enter, cargo weight, uh, let me see here now, so our cargo weight is, very little cargo actually, is that right? Cargo weight we're carrying according to our flight plan, 243 kilos, 243 kilos. Can we not just put that in here? Two... Uh, we'll do it in halves, right? So we'll go uh, one, four, sorry, one, two, three. No, that's not right. One, two, three. One, two, three. Enter. Does this have to be open? Now we'll try it. One, two. One, two, three. Enter. No, it doesn't like that either. Jesus, lads. Uh, Wrangle's where Mudhole Smith gets his nickname from. Is it? Okay, that's it. That's strange. Uh, seize for takeoff. Zero fuel weight, total fuel weight, gross weight. Hmm. That's randomised and that's passengers. Can't get the weight in there. Okay, it's not a big to do. So we're going to put it in here. Well, it's zero because, well, there's no cargo. Fair enough. Uh, zero fuel weight now. 29330. Alternate hold. Fuel on board. That's all looking good. Uh, going to the next page. Fuel flow, takeoff, elapsed time. That's all okay. That'll all come alive once we start flying. Into our performance. And uh, let me see now. That's all looking good there. 
Uh, data don't need to worry about. Nav. That looks good as well. It's getting our weather. All right, well, that's kind of okay now for the moment. We continue on with setting up the airplane, so. Uh, so we're on ground power. We have some lights on. Our next little trick is going to be the APU. So we're going to go ahead and start that. And while we're here, we're going to continue to turn on our systems. So we're going to say uh, one fuel pump. We're going to get our generators online. The galley on. Uh, put these guys on. And that APU is starting up. You should be able to hear it nicely outside. So just make sure you're on live time and weather because that's what I've opted for, right? Live time and the weather. Once we get hydraulic power in, that should close. Uh, we also have some lights we can turn on. Uh, seatbelt lights, or seatbelt lights rather. Uh, emergency lights are armed. Cabin emergency lights are armed. Um, APU power is now available, so we're going to make sure that we have APU air on. APU valve is up and running. Here's Josephine sitting beside us. Give me a little menu here. Pilot callers, cabin announcements, cockpit pilots. Get rid of them. Uh, auxiliary fuel tanks. Don't need those. State saving. Yes. State saving enabled. Thank you very much. All right. So if we now have APU power and it's all up and running, at this stage now we can turn off the external power. So we're on our onboard systems, and we're going to remove the ground power and get these doors closed. So we need to go into into flight plan, I suppose. We'll leave that on. And we're going to put this gadget on the standby. You have to tilt the radar up so you don't, you know... Unfortunately, people start growing things because, like, that's what happens with radiation. Uh, what else do we need to do? Radios are on. I to wear a glare shield now. So flight director on. VNAV. Flight director on. And we can start setting up a bit of stuff. So altitude... For the flight, it says 23,000. I don't think so. We'll put in a stop climb of 9 for the moment. And what else do we need to do here now? Reset our barrow. Reset our heading. And that's looking all fairly good. Hydraulics anti-skid. Yeah, so we have a bit more stuff to start tidying up here now as we're going to go for a engine startup. All right? So, we can remove the chocks. We're finished with this page for the moment. Uh, let me see. Charts. <sighs> Initializing. I'm having a night of it, you know. Kev Kira, thank you very much indeed. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, right, so we're looking for a PA... What was it? Uno momento. Hey, grab that, you devil. Grab that, you devil. And we'll auth authenticate this gadget. So we can have charts in the aircraft. Approve. Yes. Allow. Here we go. Right, give that a second. It'll think about things. Right, we're good. So, PA... What are we saying? PA... How do we type this in? Do we just type it? P... Oh, yeah. P-A-C-V. Enter. Departure, arrival, or none. Fail to fetch airport information. 403. Okay, what about C-C... Z-N? Fail to fetch. That's never good. Here we go. So, we do have some stuff here. Grand! It's alive! Uh, now, what else do we need? Aircraft notes. Checklist. Or settings. That's all okay. Flight plan is okay. Just making sure. And then we'll let our map start loading in. Right. Into the cabin. Hello, the plane. Right, so we uh, get some cheesy music on. Yeah, that's how that works. Uh, cabin is already secure. So. Map is there. Aircraft, we're going to say cease for takeoff. Arm doors. Nice. you got to love the music, right? It's the best thing ever. So they'll be doing their safety demonstrations and all that jazz next as well. Uh, the door we can close. Should be a click spot. There is. So door is closed. What else do we need down here? Transponder, leave all that off at the moment. So we're going to go for an engine start. So uh, starting up the machine here. Engine eyes, we'll put this on for the startup. 
Screen heats leaves them alone. Uh, packs engineer leave all that alone. Uh, nav lights are on. Beacon light now comes on. Spoilers put in. Anti skid is activated. What else are we looking for? Hello. This, this, and this. That, and that. Got our fuel pumps on. And I think we're good. I think we're good. Right, it's going to be an engine startup. So we're going to put on our power, which is on. We're going to go for engine three first. And then it's going to be click the start master switch. Uh, Red Thunder, good to see you, man. Yeah, it's proper elevator music, isn't it? Wombat49 is here. Good to see you, Wombat. Welcome in, man. Uh, right, so start our power on. Uh, and then ignition will be on. And it's going to be engine start. So this is engine number three we're spooling up. So we keep an eye on what's happening here. RPM percentage is rising. Dude, look at this big E just... We're, the we're getting there, Dude. right? Dude. We're going to be brilliant at this now by the by the end of tonight. Experts, you know. Let's listen to these sounds, right? They're so decent. They are so decent. Okay, so quick check up here. So that should be engine three on. Uh, generator's already armed, so they should come on. Make sure we're all stabilized. We're good. Okay, engine number four. So we should say engine four, start. Come down here. We monitor number four coming up. RPM is rising. RPM is rising. Usually aim for around 20, give or take. That's looking good. Fuel in. Do we have anything here for like sounds? So they are spooling. Aviator hey, Geek, good to see it. Okay, so it's a good start on number four. And we continue on with our flows here now. It's a great little plane. Uh, right, let me see here now. So we're going to go engine selector number one. And start. Now with this machine, I think we keep the APU on until we get like to 5,000 feet or so. Almost certain of it. So number one is spindling up. It's a whisper jet, so not so loud. Yeah, but usually, well, I thought it was a little bit louder than that. Did you see like the sheer amount of updates they've done? You know, when it comes to the textures, I mean, Look at the state of the detailing. Isn't it amazing, really, isn't it? They've done such a great job. Like, what an update. Okay, we're doing good. Engine 1 is coming up. Now, there's other stuff we can do over here, look. So, we can test that. They're all okay. These up a little bit. So engine one is up. Engine two is next. And we monitor this guy. Over here we can do the engine vibration test. That's looking good. We can turn on our computer. Power's on. We're gonna test this. Because through all the uh Let's do all the stages to make sure all is working well. 
fuel coming in. We can also put in our V-speeds. They're in. And we're just waiting on pressures now to come up. So we're going to be saying our power setting is going to be set to take off. It's going to give us 92.1. That's fine. What else can we do over here now? Uh, the autopilot, I'll set all that now in a moment. You can sync that or be yaw damping around, but we'll do all that once we have a full start of the engine. We're looking good. So engine master switch goes to off. Everything's up and running. Engine air comes on. Anti-ice comes off. And we get some screen heat and our pedos turned on here as well. APU will keep running. Uh, what else do I need here now? Fuel tanks are good. Run with lights and come on. Uh, ice detection switch turn on. We're going to need that. And I think we're looking good. Pressurization keep it on auto. And I think we're good. Auto brake fans. We're going to need those when we're trying to land this devil. Okay, so come down here now. We want to get to turned on. Uh, autopilot. We can turn on the master switch, but don't worry about that for the moment. So what's she telling us now? Parking brake is on. Air select on ground. That's okay. Flight recorder off. Brake fans are on. Okay, so we turn these off. Uh, turn those off. And air select is on ground. APU air, leave it on. Cabin air, uh, fresh. Packs. You only need one packs, I think. Ram air. Ram air. We can open that. Uh, right, I think we're looking good. All right, okay. Let's see what happens. Hey, paparazzi's here. Good to see it. So what are we saying? Runway 27 for departure. Let's have a look. So what we're going to do, we're going to taxi down and out. That's the plan. Taxi down and out. Now, let's see. We're going to... Sim brief. Okay. I think we're good, lads. I think we're good. Lights are on. Uh, strobes, leave them off. Taxi lights, put them on. And we're good. Okay, so flaps. Flaps at 18. Trim setting about 3.5. Spoilers now should be in. Look at the state of this thing though. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay. So, parking brake coming off. Parking brake is off. A little bit of power. Edges forward a little bit. Get some tow BI on. Oxygen systems over here. We're all okay. So we'll taxi left and then we'll go out onto the uh, onto the runway then. This is a beautiful little airport. Now we're probably going to go let me see, we can go LNAV and arm that. So we're going to say LNAV. It's not like an LNAV? Okay. Right, it'll be on heading mode, so... So we'll do a turn here. As we're approaching the main runway, sure, get on all our lights. Beautiful. There's some strobes on here as well. And we're just going to back taxi. Again, like, it was it was learning that this aircraft was being, or was going to be developed to operate in, um, in a bush configuration. Like, imagine that, lads. Imagine this thing, the Whisper Jet, like, in a bush configuration. Could you imagine it? Now, it would need some sort of structural upgrades, because if you notice, like, the landing gear, as big and bulky as they are, 
Well, it'd be nice to have just a little bit more clearance. Do you know what I mean? They'd probably have to do something with the suspension of the aircraft. But in terms of its power, I think it's quite good. You know what I mean? I think it's quite good. Did Rad Baron get in trouble with the bot? Uh-oh. Don't mind the bot. It's nuts. Now, let me see. So we have a uh, heading. So we're going to put this to our runway heading. Initially. We're going to tell the autopilot unit have heading ready to rock. We have our altitude armed. And then the rest we can do manually. You wouldn't be confident of it in the bush, really? Hey, Pilot Peely is here. It's good to see you, man. Have you figured out the MACDU yet? Yeah, so the UNS, there's a, there is a bit of work to it. But yeah, it's I've used it before. It's more the challenge of um, just getting the flight plan in there. That's all. Hey, MDA. Good to see you, man. Okay, so I guess let's turn around here. Now, as I said, it's usually over 5,000 feet. Then you can get rid of the APU. But you would keep the APU on while it's on the ground. Do you know? Now, I'm going to try and fly this as if it were some sort of a kind of a conventional general aviation plane. Because we're in the bush. So we'll turn on our Microsoft Flight Sim multiplayer and uh, give it a second for you guys to boot in. This will get terribly fun. Uh, right, what else do I need to do here now? We won't get we won't get LNAV, I'd say. If the flight plan is active, isn't it? Normal position to waypoint. We don't need that. That's effectively your direct to, yeah? The radio page is not... Uh, working. Interesting. Uh, load ATC, store flight plan, or return. Okay. This is our active leg. That's direct to. From to. So we're going to there first. Okay. Sure, there's everyone now look <laughs> jesus jay johnson good to see you whose bush are we in we're in a different bush uh voicey it's now turned on yeah this is this is pretty nice looking and uh, now i do have a lot of lights on here let's see can we turn this down a little bit uh wing lights logo lights they're all okay cabin lights they're fine so we do have some uh, overhead lights turn those down a smidgen there you go Turn a little bit there you go we're down here a little bit leave them guys up or bring these guys down Right, now we're threshing. Right, friends, are we ready for flying? Power coming in. That's 40%. Breaks off. Toga. TMS sense takeoff. Speed alive. Speed alive, both sides. 80 knots, was checked. 80 knots, come on, Betsy. V1. Rotate. V2. Yep, see Daisy. You're up. There's one forty. Flaps in. With the power back is vision. Man, the sounds are great. Climb profile. Look at the state of this. Right, so we've got to be careful with our speed, right? As we kind of maneuver. That's friggin' awesome looking. Right, we seem to be doing the thing, so that button work. Ah, fix me button! Brilliant. So, friends, if you're flying along with us now, if you're on the Xbox, press 1, PC, press 2, and if you're here with a sore head after watching me for 20 minutes, will you press number 3? Yeah, baby! Hello, Fireflies. Welcome to the Flying Circus. We live stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 1900 Zulu time. 
right here. Look at the absolute cut of this, lads. Look at the state. We're going into the soup. Jesus, the noise of that fella. So let's get above the clouds here for a minute just to see what the crack is like, right? So uh, a bit of speed here, Murph. Yeah, baby. We got 30 on the PC, 4 on console. Thank you, Super Tie. All right, let's have a look what's going on here. The Jesus. By right, 7,000 feet. Here at Firefly Hair, we laugh. Laugh at high altitude acceleration. All right, so we wanted 9 as our original, so let's calm the jets down here a little bit. Easy now, Jemima. Easy now. Power management is going to be an absolute mad thing in this. Right, let me see. Can we go heading? So we're going to say altitude arm. We're going to say autopilot on. We're going to say heading, please. Easy now. Easy now. And let's see what she's going to do, right? Speed is creeping up, bring her down a bit. Big mountains ahead, look. <laughs> okay, so we want a teeny tiny little climb. V speed. Bring us up a smidgen. There's 9,000. Let's go a little bit higher. Call it 11,000. What aren't you liking? What isn't this liking? Altitude? Uh, let's see. So we're getting a beep, but I think over speed. Oh, we're over speed, look. Do you know what I just realized as well? I have that terrible bug where the sim pauses, and I can only put it down to the transol. So the Transall is the only aircraft, for whatever reason, that's making my sim pause. Look. That's the only aircraft, I think, that we've flown recently. And it makes the, the sim pause. For whatever reason. Don't know what it is. Could be the C-17 either. It's either the C-17 or the Transall. What an absolute disaster. But sure, listen, we'll stay going and see what happens. Look at the scenery, look. Jesus. 
C-17 says Tarnish. Is it the C-17? I think it's the C-17. Because this will now get inherently worse. Do you know what I mean? Mr. Dan is still taking off. The plane loves overspeed. Yeah, it's a devil to manage the speed. Like, there's no auto throttle. Yeah, that's going to be a huge issue. You haven't flown in a while. It's an overspeed. Yeah, yeah, overspeed. Uh, CC, CCZN says not in the database. Not in the database, you say. Right, we're coming up on 10,000. Oh, the pausing is just shocking. <laughs> so we reckon it's the C-17. Tarnish, have you seen that? Have you seen that before? You can auto trot with the VNAV. That's true. Look at the views, though. Look at the cut of what's down there. Look, Jesus. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely stunning. Now, what are the chances of, like, restarting this thing with the aircraft in the air? Professional bush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the C-17. Was the C-17 left the flight? Yeah, but no, I think the issue is already there, regardless of if there's a C-17 flying. I don't know. I can only guess. It's either the, uh, the C-160 or the C-17. Uh, Chizana is on little nav map. Hmm. Chizana's definitely there. So this is live time and weather. It's mad looking, isn't it? Landing this thing now is going to be absolutely hilarious. Man, look at the view. Imagine seeing that outside your front office window. Jesus. Fiber strikes going back to Alaska. Really? Nice. Dougal, have you been drinking? I have, Ted. I've been drinking like a mad idiot. No, it's grand, uh, Nighthawk. It, like, it's... it's. I'll, I'll remove it on my side. I'll remove it on my... Like, it's, it's... I don't want you guys not being able to fly or something. You fly exactly what you want to fly. But it's either the C-160 or the uh, the C-17 that's causing issues. Because... And it only seems to happen to my setup. I don't know what it is. Does anyone else get this pausing stuff? But, like, even when we flew the Comanche the last time I was getting this... Maybe it's the aircraft. Uh, hey, Al, good to see you, man. Welcome in. There's so many planes flying around. The only way I got around this the last time is having the multiplayer turned off. It's so strange, like. And, like, if I go in and check all the, you know, performance, CPU, GPU, RAM, everything's well within normal limits. Well within it. And, like, even the sim is like, yeah, there's nothing wrong, man. I don't know what it is. But so listen, we'll, we'll mull on and see what happens. Look at the view. It's like something out of Lord of the Rings, isn't it? Yeah, it must be, Dan, yeah. Never like that. Usually when... Uh, usually when an airport loads. Yeah, like, it's not even a stutter. This is, like, a pause, you know? Uh, no, it doesn't matter, Cyrus. You can change server. You can turn off multiplayer. You can turn off all the online stuff. Once that pause stuttering starts, the only way to fix it is kill the sim and start again. There's no way around it. Uh, it only pauses on yours until you disable FSU IPC. I don't even have FSU IPC running. I thought I'll tell you. So it ain't FSU IPC. And it doesn't matter about, as you know, drivers, settings, nothing. Uh, four prawns, yeah, no, did that as well. So I delete my cache prior to every flight. Haven't got the pause since updating NVIDIA DLL files, although it's only been a few days. Yeah, no, it's it's... Anything to do with the NVIDIA stuff, I delete them before every stream, just in case. Even at 11,000, it feels like a close shave. Like, look at the mountains, isn't it gorgeous? Look at the detail on the mountains. Incredible. Surely Dev, yeah, yeah. Like, if, But these aren't starters, like, these are like proper pauses. The sim actually stops, and then it goes again, and you can time it. It's so strange. So, so strange. No idea what it is. Uh, it's not FSU IPC. It's the sim and totally random, says Alison. Alison, do you get this as well? By the way, hello, Alison. Great to see you. 
Aviator says, it's so bad I can't fly on your wing. So, yeah, I must be pausing for everyone else too, right? Like, one second I'm there, next thing I'm in it, you know, I'm not. Yeah. Really strange, isn't it? Everyone just looked away from Seb's comment and didn't say a thing. Seb's comment? Oh, as in when they said multiplayer is fixed? Yeah! Hemingbird is at the airport. Catch you later. Enjoy. Have a good evening. Uh, I think if it can't find CC or CCZN, it should update Navigraph. Oh, well, maybe. Ah, Ali, thank you very much. Jesus, Ali. 43 months at Tier 3. Thank you very, very much indeed. Jesus. One horse goose. Good to see you. We're flying at the moment from Alaska and then we're going to tip into Canada. And it looks absolutely stunning. And then it doesn't. And then it does again. And then it doesn't. And then it does. You know. Brilliant. Um, the Just Flight BAE Navigraph data. You can update that with a active uh, Navigraph subscription. Yeah, the stars are really bad. Jesus. Come on now, you can do it plain. Think about it. It's shocking bad. Hey, Bellbro's here. Good to see you. Joining the Vulcan? Yeah, Vulcan, great. The Vulcan is great. How far along are we? Not terribly far. Adoring, good to see you. I'd be a while getting there because I'm like, I'm probably going to be going one third your speed. Because <laughs> it pauses. No idea what's causing it. And like, even if I said it's the C-17, like when we flew with the Comanche flight, we didn't, there wasn't any C-17s. Oh, I got stutters badly. Yeah, it's terrible. Terrible. The sim is the cause of it. So it's not an add-on. Well, it has to be some sort of an add-on because I've never seen this happen in a pure vanilla state. Or maybe someone has. You know? There's something somewhere... The sim is trying to load a something and it's a memory leak. It's constantly gone off now to load something. And that's why we're seeing the, pa the constant pausing. Do you know? Hey, Badger's good to see you. Oh, Ali, you have even in vanilla? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, the only thing fixed about multiplayer is the teams involved IQ, right? It, well, it's the fact that they're saying it's grand when it's not. That's what's annoying. Like, we know it's not grand, do you know? Um... Good question. That'll tell you where I'm at. So the CPU is like 60 degrees, 3% load. GPU is at 50 degrees. And it jumps from 2 to 50%. It's mad, isn't it? Like, it's, it's mad. And like, do you know what I mean? Like, the specs is like, the, the PC is strong, like. It's okay, because they get to buy... Or y'all get to buy Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. Really not hoping it's broken. You know? Really not hoping it's broken. What else is in here that I can do? This NXT gadget. This is the same. So, like... Temperature is 45. GPU. RAM. Like, there's nothing on this that's saying, look, you're getting... You have an issue. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing here at all. What are these for? Oh, they're for my, li they're my lights over here, look. Spectrum wave. Device is initializing. Okay. Let's not go playing with that stuff. Yeah, the PC is fine. Some serious thick clouds, yeah. 
Uh, no, nothing like that either, no. No, nothing to do. Like, there's nothing else running in the background, you know? Like, I have every other setting for this, for the, uh, for the PC. Like, there's nothing there running. Nothing. I'd love to get, well, we can't. As Ali says, it's just the sim. It's just the sim. Uh, Level Lunar, like, we've done all this before. Like, you could restart it, it'll be fine, and then it comes back into it. Like, my, um, my experience with this, it depends on the add-on. That's my experience on this. Because I guarantee you, if I load back into the sim and I have multiplayer turned off and we use JoinFS, there is zero issue at all. It doesn't matter what's in the sim. Once I have multiplayer turned off, it's fine. And you can even say, right, try change server. I can, like, I can't get rid of this thing now. Even if I change server, even if I turn off multiplayer, it's not going to change the, the stutter, you know? So it's, it's part of, part of the problem that I've experienced is it's, it's on multiplayer. So if it's on multi, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. If it's on multiplayer, um, well then it, it, it has to be, an, it has to be, be like, for it to be a multiplayer issue, it has to be down to either a livery or an aircraft. And that's just my experience from it, you know? Jesus, that's a serious turn. Find the mountains now. We're pretty close to those mountains. Only a reboot will fix it. Yeah. But the worry is, you reboot it, you load back in, and it happens again. You know what I mean? Muse fan is getting the same stutters. I don't believe you, Muse. So just one other poor Egypt along with me. Motley, none to do with the nameplates, but Jess, you can turn them off. The stutter's still there, my dude. Let's see how we go. It'll make our first landing absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. Uh, try that as well, Fire10. Like, lads, any setting you can possibly think of, I tried it. Like, I've I've troubleshooted this for hours and hours. Multiplayer on, multiplayer off. Didn't happen in vanilla. But then again, you wouldn't be you wouldn't have the same sort of numbers when it comes to a group flight. You know what I mean? Uh Fourpron says, I've no idea, but I heard people call this sort of thing memory leak. It's a, it's a software memory leak. You're, it's That would be technically correct. Because the sim is stopping trying to load something. It's then being told, don't load it. Okay. And then a second later, it tries to load what it was told not to load. It's, it's like it's caught in a loop or something. You know? But yeah. It, well, you know, at least. If it's happening to someone else, well, then it's, it's the sim. Without a shadow of a doubt. But again, I've only come across this with multiplayer turned on, you know? Um, digital mark? Yeah, it can happen. It can happen. As I said, like, it really only, it, it's only happened with uh, multiplayer. And it depends on the aircraft. So I know for a fact, I'll get it with the Comanche. Uh, I'll get it with... Get it with the Comanche and you get it with something else. Whatever it is, do you know? Patrick, look out for those mountains. I need to sneeze. Gesundheit. This is a unique perspective. Imagine trying to land in this. Uh, I've stopped using rolling cash. Yeah, rolling cash turned off. My rolling cash is off. And what's gas? If I even pause the sim now, right? If I hit the menu button or escape, the stutters continue. Even if you go back into the like the map to select a new uh, flight, they still continue. Uh, it's nuts. It's, 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 it's a serious problem. But it only affects like a tiny percentage. Five yeah. FPS, which you're watching. We're Jeez. going the wrong way. Are we? No, we're good. We're good. Well, I say we're good. We're heading to that wrangle waypoint. Does anyone want some bread for the soup? It's proper, proper, proper cloudy. 
is Kazaki up there? How's that P-47 going, man? It was IMC to 500 feet? What? No way. Can I get a refund? Uh, uh, join the queue. Something on the way. Something. How are those, um... How are those alert sounds? Are they all right now? Uh, Dublin was soupy yesterday. You want to see tomorrow? You need to tune in or tune in. You need to go flying tomorrow at around... No, I, I need to show you what's going to be happening. Wait you see the cut of this, right? We're going to vent this guy here with the sim pause in the background, right? Now, actually, do you know, lads, do you know what I have to do? I'm probably going to have to nuke this. And, uh... Where do I have that? I, like, it, it can't be just the C-17. Like, it just can't. So the other alternative is, I'll go join FS. Does that sound like a plan? Because, like, you, you just can't have that going, you know what I mean? So, uh, let's see here now. I want to show you the Ventus guy. I'll load back in, and at the waypoint, by the time you guys get to wrangle, I'll get to wrangle, Right? Because uh, you just can't fly in that at all. So let's go into my add-ons linker, just in case there's something in here as well. Uh, does join FS USF? Yeah, it does. But like, the gas thing is, it'll work absolutely fine, which is nuts, right? Uh, now, aircraft, military. We'll get the C-17 out of there just for sheer gas, right? And uh, boot up the sim again. Now, while the sim is booting, check out the weather we're going to be getting in Ireland tomorrow. Wind gusts, and we'll put them in knots, right? So, let me see. That's today. Into tomorrow. Look at this mad devil on the way in. That's Storm Kathleen, right? And she's on the way there now at a, a rate of knots. So, tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, if you want to fly out with Cork or Kerry, 60 knot gusts. 60, right? Uh, and, like, by the time it comes to 12 o'clock, if this says insert game disc, your last session ended. You did, you, 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 oh, Jesus, did it? Did it! <laughs> anyway, uh, if you're going to fly in Ireland tomorrow, which I highly recommend, get a flight in somewhere between 9 o'clock in the morning and 2 o'clock in the afternoon because the weather is going to be absolutely friggin' nuts. Like, nuts, right? Um, I had this without the C-17. Only installed it this week. Okay. Thanks, Ali. Uh, you have tried every combination, Cold Knee, but I have, dude. I really have. But we won't worry about it. That's why we have Join FS, right? So fear not, friends. Fear not. So we can get the network up and running. And uh, anyone who'd like to join us in Join FS, join us in Join FS, exclamation point Join FS. This allows you to connect to uh, kind of like an, an external server, thanks to Naughty Gnome. You could be on X-Plane, you could be on P3D or in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and you'll appear inside the simulator by using this bit of software. Now, it's not without its limitations. It's not without its problems, uh, but it definitely works. So, exclamation point, join FS. There's a YouTube video there. It goes through it in great detail of how to get the thing set up and work. It's free. It is free. The only kick in the left buttock, it's not compatible with Xbox. There's no way for Xbox pilots to jump in, right? But, um... There's no limit either to the amount of aircraft you can see. Microsoft Flight Sim can show you about 20, 22 aircraft in any given area. This thing is unlimited. This will, If there's a thousand airplanes in your range, and you can go through your options to say, hey, display aircraft within this range. Yeah? Circle of activity. Follow distance. I mean, you can go friggin' nuts with this thing. But it's not without its, you know, it's not without its uh, its issues. But as a as a backup, highly recommend it. Concord, go up. Oh, brilliant. Uh, so Vatsim, but not Vatsim. Kind of. You know, uh, you do need to put in your own sort of model matching and stuff. Um, it's relatively easy to set up. If you look at that Join FS video, you'll see it. The password, by the way. So if you want to join our group, our server, right? So if we want to say, you know, look, look, for, uh, look for hubs. Well, you need to go down to where it says the Flying Circus. TTM Flying Circus. That's us. And it's looking for a password. And the password is the logs two. One word, the logs two. All lowercase. Right? And just make sure you hit save so the next time you want to go flying, it'll find the TTM flying circus. Because uh I use this quite a bit. Do you know? 
and for the uh, for the Bremen stuff we'll be starting next week we'll be using this as well because you know if you want to be an X-Plane maybe you want to fly the Challenger or the A340 whatever you can fly whatever you like uh, well it means you can and you can still have that experience of well you're flying with a load of people if you're on X-Plane you, uh, air traffic will be injected onto your screen and if we're a Microsoft Flight Sim, well, that'll inject you onto our screen, if that makes sense. It's really, really good. Their logs too is the password. Is the Pelican in there? <laughs> uh, you can assign anything as well. So, for example, Kaharia, right? Uh, let's have a look. What's Kaharia in, right? So, if we were to have a look at Kaharia, so if we go to aircraft. Um, so, Kaharia is it? What is Kaharia flying? 737. Is that right? Texas One Flyboy, thank you very much indeed. Is Kaharia in the uh, in the seven in the seven three seven? What we can do, we can substitute an aircraft. We can substitute the aircraft, so we can say, right, Kaharia's in a seven three seven. Uh, no, so we're going to put her in a seven three six. Yeah, that's right, seven three seven six hundred. So I can tell this bit of software to say substitute Kaharia's aircraft and put her in the Blario, for example, right? And before you can even think about it. Her aircraft will change from the 737-600 instantly into the Blerio. And it's based on the aircraft you have in your own community folder. It'll just, re it'll just say, it'll tell the sim, that's not 737, it's a Blerio. It appears then. Like, it's a great bit of kit. It really, really is. But it's not without its headache. Right, so I'm going to try and start off mid-air. This is going to be hilarious. So I need to zoom into that waypoint. What do we call it? Wrangler. W-R-N-G-L. Is it? Wrangle. No? Was it? W-R-N-G-L. W-R-N-G-L. Okay, I can't find the waypoint. Why can't I find that waypoint? Oh. Uh, Jesus, now. Where is everyone? He's up here, look. So there's Kazaki. So I'm... Oh, Jesus. I'm going to start off... Here. And I'm going to turn off that. I'm going to start off here, and it's going to put me at 25,000 feet. And it'll take a few seconds now for me to kind of tell the aircraft to sort itself out, right? Uh, I should be in now. I haven't used JoinFS before. It, it's good. It's good. Select a player as departure. So here's the thing, Red Thunder. If you click on another aircraft in the map, instant CTD. Again, it's fixed for some, not for everyone. Right. Plane. Concentrate, Murphy. Is that, po is that still stuttering? Could you imagine? Oh, brilliant! Uh, oh, oh! Aircraft! Oh, Jesus! Ready for takeoff. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, oh, Jesus. Is it cold and dark? We're up and running. Oh, we're up and running. Yeah, there's the ground. Easy now, Jemima. I'll fix all of this. Get the spoilers out. Calm the whole shop down. We're going to call it 11,000 feet. We want a heading of... 3-0. Autopilot's on. And I think we're okay now. Let's see. Is the APU on? Get rid of the APU. You mad divil you. Engine air, put them on. APU is now off, that's what we wanted. It turned on some stuff, but not all stuff. Take Easy. Ice detection. Yeah, you're on. Right, okay, we're good. It's alive! Now, we were saying 11,000 feet. Give us a bit of a level there. Bit of a heading change, please. What's our speed doing? Okay, that's looking better. Uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not too worried about this because this is just friggin' nuts. So we're gonna say uh, Wrangle, Jesus. Uh, w R N G L. And 
CCZM. That'll do. That'll do! Right, so we're on heading mode. So we're passing Wrangle. Our speed came down fairly abruptly. Right, now that's my first trick. My second trick, join FS. So as I turn this on, I can now see the aircraft that should start appearing, friends, right? Right, let's see what we can do here. So, I don't see anyone just yet. Now, the only thing is you won't get name tags. Nothing can be done about that. And to speed up a bit. Okay, so there's a couple of aircraft close by. So if you want to get on to join FS, jump on in, right? I'm way off track, so don't worry. I'm turning back towards Wrangle. I'm miles away from it. So I'm going to intercept the... Oh, Jesus, look at the mountains. I'm going to intercept the Wrangle waypoint and then resume on, right? So we just need to give it a few moments. What happened there? Stall? Are you stalling, plane? Behave yourself. Why are you doing that now? Keep me at 11,000, please. Heading. Altitude arm. V speed. The nose down, you devil. There we go. Now she's correct. Injected traffic won't include name types. Correct. There's little fishing huts down here, really. Okay, so she's going to try and level us off here. Watch the speed. The car in swinger, baby. <laughs> There's things happening. Jesus, Alison Johnson just gifted 10 tier 1 subs and I have more grey hairs. Thank you very much indeed, Alison Johnson, for your insane kindness as we battle with the issues of the plane. But it's not the plane, it's the sim. It's the simulation. But we're fixing it now, lads. It's going to be absolutely brilliant, right? It'll be brilliant. I just can't see anyone yet, but I know you are there. Look at the cut of the view, look. Man alive. Uh, wait, are we on live time and weather? We are. There you go. Yes. Alison, thank you very, very much indeed. Definitely sim shenanigans, right? Iron Ob Airways just woke up. You're going to jump in, but nothing that. Too many buttons. Ah, it's not. It's grand, sure. You learn it fairly quick. And if not, you just pretend you know it. Oh, it's so nice, this thing. This airplane is so nice. All right, we're doing a bit better now. Just watch the friggin' speed, look. Sim Nanigans. I like that one, too. All right, that's where I want. And let's see what happens, right? Sim always looks beautiful on your stream. Great playing for this flight. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, who's this? Panderay. No, Panderelli. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much indeed. Right, so we're going to be making a left turn here now, lads. Shortly. I wonder will they pick up a direct two now? Like, why am I getting LNAV or VNAV? Why isn't LNAV working? What am I forgetting about LNAV? Let's see. Uh... So fly plan, right? We don't need a hold. Direct to there, right? 
My other half hates the poor 146. Says it's silly wings and poxy small engines, but I love it. It's so good. It's so good. The little yellow switch above the horizon indicator. Ah, oh, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You absolute genius. Hell nav, get in there now, you devil. Who was that? APU inspector, thank you very much indeed. Why aren't, why are we descending? Climb, you devil, climb. Look at me, V nav, probably not. VS, how's up there, Betsy? Oh, that's a very big mountain in the way. Right, easy now, you big mad thing, you. We're saying 11, we're gonna need more than 11. Up to 12. Yep, we're flying straight into a mountain. Uh, we'll be landing very shortly. Just why I've done a brilliant job at this. Oh, if they have. You can't load in midair with the engines running, says Muse. You sure? Edmund, thank you for that as well. Yes. It's amazing when you get out of practice with this thing. Um. Now listen. What do we reckon? I mean, can we actually get over this bit of a hump that we're looking at? In a world. With an, oh Jesus. With an Egypt flying a plane. Murphy thinks he'll get over the hump. What do you think, sports fans? Will we make it? It looks chuck me -ish. If you think I'm going to make it, press the number four. If you think I'm not going to make it, press number five. It now looks worse than it did a minute ago. Oh no, it's oh, Jesus. Right, shh, we've got this, right? Yeah, there's an awful lot of fives after going in there all of a sudden. This isn't going to turn out well at all. Uh, right. I know what to do. I know what to do. We can climb. We're never getting over this thing, are we? Lots of speed, lots of power. You're up, you devil. There's no way we're getting over this. Or will we? No, we're not. This is going to end in tears. It's going to end in tears. What's its angle of attack is like? What are you trying to do to me? Listen. We said we were trialing this out for bush plane flying. Holy crap, this is close. Oh, jeez. Oh! Oh, ye of little faith. I'm actually genuinely impressed now. Can this I thing... get a refund? No, there's no refunds. There's rain ahead. You would have crashed if you haven't. The day the music died. What about the next one, lads? Oh, wait. It's trying to turn us a bit. What's it saying? Unable to climb. Climb, you fool. Oh, we're getting traffic alerts and everything. Climb, you devil. Where's the traffic? Dougal, have you been drinking? I have been. They've studies, you know. I've been drinking like a mad idiot. 60% of the time, it works. Every time. Every time. 88 miles per hour. They're gonna see some serious shit. Right? <laughs> this is brilliant! Holy, look at the state! It's all calm back here, you know. Oh, that's a lovely flight over the mountains. Look at the state. Right, so we're saying 16,000. But now we don't need 16,000 anymore. Drop her down there, Vanula. Bring us down now to about 13, will you? And V speed is downwards. Yes. How much your speed? 
Mount Blackburn. Ooh, nice. It's the highest peak in the Wrangell Mountains of Alaska. The fifth highest peak. And if the conditions are good enough, you can see the Denali some 430 kilometers away. No way. It's a flying mountain. She chose down. She chose down. They should add a laser pointer to an aircraft that matches your flight path so you can tell if you'll make it over the terrain. That'd be too easy though, do you know? Now I'm saying descend a little bit, but like, who put that, who put that mountain there, look? Oh, it is a whisper jet. Do we have any aircraft nearby? We were getting traffic alerts, so there's someone close. Let me land a nice zooming on. Have you divil you. <gasps> there's a plane! I see a plane! Yep, there's an aeroplane. Who's that now? Let's bring up Join the Fest and I'll show you what I can do. Look. Dish, dish, dish. Uh, no, that's what I want. Dish. Right. So the aircraft that's very close looks to be Ogotai. And you're in the P 47. So can I substitute you? Select a type. Uh, Republic P 47. Why aren't you finding it? P-47. Why isn't it finding that? Right, we can put, it appears at P-51 here for a second. Well, there you were until you weren't. Hang on, we'll fix that. Why can't you come up as a... Let me see now. Substitute, right? Filter words. So we want you to look at... I'll put you in a, a P40 is probably closer, right? Refresh. Uh, bags are not eaten, Merv. Adam Controls, good to see you. Join FS, what is it? Just put in uh, exclamation point, join FS. There's a video and it'll tell you what it is. Bottle matching, get in there now. Scan for models. Uh, FS stuff aircraft. No, no, no. Let's give it a new one. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Hello there. Uh, ooh, ooh. Went to uh, this PC. Local disk. Microsoft Flight Simulator and Community. Whew. Scan. Right, it's scanning. So there he is appeared now as a P-40 look. And then he disappeared. Because <laughs> I'm scanning. But do you get the idea, right? I mean, you can you can literally substitute any aircraft. Bit of power, Murph. You can literally substitute any aircraft. Now, we're saying 13,000. That's a little bit on the silly side. Get up, see Betsy there now for a minute. Bit of a climb here as well. Or add a dynamite grenade launcher. That'd work. Adam Controls, hope you're well, man. Good to see you. What program is it? Hangar Studio? It's called Join FS. Join FS. Ah, Join FS crashed because I went to scan for models. That's what happened. Hang on, I'll turn it back on again. I'm flying on Join FS with the P3D guys. There you go. There you go. Unable to find substitute model. That's okay. Connect to the network. Okay. Right, so aircraft. We had him in a P-40. Let's see, can we find him now in the, uh, the Republic P-47, isn't it? There we go. There we go. Substitute. I can hear him. I just can't see him. So where is that P-47? Holy crap. Look at the frame rate I'm getting my multiplayer off. So if um, Ogotai is somewhere near, try and fly. There he is. There he is, it's a P-47. Now I can change that if I want. Do you know what I mean? I, like if I wanted to now, lads, right? I could say, do you know what I'll do now? Sure, listen. 
Shall we put him into something a little bit more comfortable? You know, slip into something a bit more comfortable. Uh, for instance, whoosh, whoosh. give it a second. There's a Vulcan back there. Where's our Gotai? Check this out. Do you know what he's in now, lads? Like, is that not just the coolest thing since sliced bread? I've put him into a tornado. Right? Like, isn't that just the cat's whiskers? Man, that P-47 has great camouflage. It looks just like a tornado. But you know what I mean? Isn't that amazing? We could put him in a Blario as well. Look at this date, look. And if he gets close enough, the sound file of the tornado will play. It'll trigger. It's very, very good. It's a great bit of kit. It's not perfect. As I said, look, it's not without its issues, lads. It's, oh, Jesus. It's just not without its issues. Bring the speed back there. The plane is shouting at me. Right, who's this immediately behind me in an A320? Let's have the let's have the crack here. So, oh, go tight. We'll put you back into your P47. You know, uh, Republic P47. There you go. Now, who's this right behind me? Because they're in an Airbus something. Is it Toto? No, they're closer than that. It's Cold Nebo. Airbus A320, right? Cold Nebo, we're going to change you. Uh, give it a second. Cold, oh Jesus. Cold Nebo is now a Boeing Clipper. Isn't it brilliant? It's absolutely brilliant. Look at the state of that. It's gorgeous. But that's the sort of fun you can have with it. Do you know? Uh, I better change it back again. I feel like that fella out of the thing with the yoke. Changing people. A genie or something. Uh, right, he's an A320. Put him back there as an A320, will you? Stop acting the Egypt Murph. Up is down, left is right. What's going on here? Mongo, listen, it's science. Oh, come here, I've overflown the airport. Ah, brilliant. Right. Power coming out. Autopilot off. Yes, yes, yes. Stick on the brakes. And we're going to left turn this mother and head it down the road. Banking, banking. It's, just, it's fine, don't worry. This is Bush Flying 101. Right, it's on. Right. Spoilers. Jesus, look at the angle. Shh, shh, it's fine. Oh, better not crash into Anton. I hear you, I hear you. Oh, Jesus. Don't crash, Murph, it's ready. Ah, who's in charge? Do you know what we need here now to make a sound? Pull up. I've no terrain radar. Right, there's a bit of cloudage. Can we see below, please? Yes, and there's big mountains. Brilliant. Do you look at this big E just... Bush flying. Can we do it? Yes, yes we can. We hope. This is incredibly stupid and dangerous. My kind of flying. Yes. No. Uh. It's coming together. Sorta. Of. I can't see anything. You can't, oh God, mind the terrain. Let's go this way. We can follow in the little riverine look. Dougal, have you been drinking? I have, Ted. I've been drinking like a mad Egypt. When Explorer 1 asked, could Firefly do the trials to see if the 146 can bush? We said yes. Yes, we can. I 
I mean, he's just terribly excited, wasn't he? What? Did you just see him? That wasn't odd at all. Right. There's an airport up here somewhere. It'll be a gap in the trees. Yeah. We're going the wrong way. We're not going the wrong way at all. It's over here somewhere. We'll overfly it. Just to make sure it's there, right? Shh, shh, it's fine, lads. Fine. No. Speed is fast. And there's a big mountain in the way. We need to be careful of this. I reckon the runway's dead ahead. Ish. Can I do the refund? There are no refunds. We've passed the point of no return. There should be a gap in the trees. Is that it? No. No, that's not it. Easy now, Whisper Jet. There it is. That's got to be it there, right? That's it. Okay, it looks safe. Sort of. Slam it down. Have you got a hand? Oh, it's probably. Captain, how soon can you land? I can't tell. You can tell me I'm a doctor. No, I mean, I'm just not sure. Or can't you take a guess? Well, not for another two hours. You can't take a guess for another two hours? It's totally fine. Right. Let's see, can we get some sort of a plan into action? Dreamy, sleepy, nighty, snoozy snooze. Don't turn off me lights! Bring it the gear down! There's a Vulcan look! Follow the Vulcan! Easy now, Toto. Start an L turn here as well. Look at the cut. Oh, yes. Now, lads, there's nothing to fear here except for everything, right? It's grand. Someone keep an eye on the L bank angle there, will you? Watch your speed. Banking, banking. There's the flaps coming down. Get a load of this There's thing. the runway. Jesus. We're flying in the bush. That's what it's supposed to be like. I can't feel me legs. You're doing it right. What's the sound? Oh, the P-47 has a sound bug. Oh no, that makes things worse. Oh, Jesus. Brilliant. Right. Our first landing. Oh, God. The P-47. We can't have this. Hang on a second. Oh, Jesus. Who's in that? Who's in the gadget? We'll put you into something different just for the minute. I don't know. PC-21. There. Fix the sound. Oh, Jesus. We're about to land. Right. Easy. Easy. Push flying. Am I with the wind is against me? And oh who's that flying ahead of us? Easy. Ah Jesus Easy. Ooh ooh. There's lights flashing in Everton. Easy. E oh Janie Macaroni. Easy. 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 Yes. No. Yes. Get down, you devil! 300 feet a minute will take it. Welcome to my secret underground cave. We're trying to slow down. We're on the ice. We didn't allow for the ice. Oh, there's no reverses on this. They've done studies, you know. 60% of the time, it works every time. Ah, no. Don't go into the trees. Don't go into the trees. We made it. We actually did it. We didn't crash. We... Yeah, look at the... Right? I could take a bow. Hang on. 
just want to say thanks to my family, my friends, for all the support, for all the help in the wee hours of the morning times. I'd like to thank the British Aerospace Engineering Company for building such a craft that could be landed in the snow, no less, 11 feet away from the tree of death. Right? We've actually done a thing. This is brilliant. I am delighted with life. I'm not great on public speaking. Good luck to you. <laughs> right? Brilliant. Now, we've no reverser, but that's okay. Get the flaps in there now, right? The whole thing is going to be grand. Right. Look at the state of it. We actually... Well, we kind of hit that bushel. Wait, there's a Vulcan on the far... And here, in the bush... We have the early calls of a mating season. Huh? Yes, yes, it's, it's, you do. You see, friends, here, the Avro Vulcan, challenging the BAE-146. Oh, yeah! In your welly boots in the snow and everything. I love when you play hard to get, or in this case, hard to find. <laughs> right? Right. Jesus, that ended quickly. Uh, that's right. Uh, right. Don't even add to that, Murphy. Uh, hello! I should look at the head in you. Hang on, I'll, I need to do something terribly um, incredible here. Uh, <clears throat> right. Uh, oh! Ah, Rock is here. Good. A sneaky Vulcan, yeah. Those sneaky Vulcans. A logical captain. Uh, it's not, Vulcans aren't sneaky. Ah, no! Didn't even hit him either. Now, watch... What, <laughs> Man, my fa <laughs> Do you remember your man out of um, Scary Movie with a strong hand? Uh, right? Man, my fanny coming through. Right, here we go now. We got down. The question is, can we get back up again? Yeah, and we're going to back taxi. Uh, get a hanger, you two. Right? Like a glove. God, it touches. It's time to run away from this. Right, yeah, time to spill up. Yeah, yeah. So, back taxi, lads. <gasps> This is Formula One. Look at the Formula One livery. I can't actually believe our luck. I can't believe our luck. Now, it's one thing getting the devil down. We need to get the devil back up again. 3,000 feet. Right? I reckon this is going to be grand. I reckon it's going to be grand. Now, I could be wrong. But I doubt it, do you know? Really? <laughs> you really need to fly these flights with damage turned off? Brilliant. Adam just had a call sign Formula 1 flying out of Dublin. Really? We could have had so much fun with that. <sighs> right. Now, for my next trick, as we back taxi, uh, we need to go to our second stop. So, Simbrave, come hither. Look at the weather for tomorrow. So, Simbri, so we're at CZN, so we're going to put in a new flight. So, we are Firefly Air, we are 235, so we're going to be CCV, no, CCZ, Jesus, CCZN, yes, and we're going to another stop. Does anyone know where else we're going? Oh, yeah, CYHT, CYHT, and we're in a 146-100 series aircraft. Unknown departure. CCNN. What level of Muppet are you? CCZN. Right, it's doing the thing with the O. Keep an eye on what's happening. Look at all the lights flashing. Uh, right. Oh, this is actually a proper route. Look. Yeah. Right, we'll do that one, lads. Generate the flight. This is a proper route. Level 7 Muppet. Who, me? What did I do now? Uh, FOR is real world code. Oh, is it? Daz Higgy, can you give me the lottery numbers for tomorrow, Murph? <laughs> right? Jesus, the Honda Jet. I mean, like, it's grand and all, like, you know, but it's also a little bit on the... I want what he's drinking. 
Right, uh, now, turn yourself... Oh, someone brought an F-28. Beautiful. He's jumping around, though. Uh, no, the thing you said, that level of Muppet. Oh, what level of Muppet? Ah, level 7 Muppet. <laughs> well, that, that's an improvement, you know. Flyer 1-0. Yes, 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 yes. We are going to turn our machine around. And Wait, hang on. Jesus. Are we going to get off the runway from there? I think so. I reckon we'll do it. Is it a dream or is it a nightmare? I don't know. Defiant Brawn. So the multiplayer model matching is part of JoinFS. It'll scan your community folder. Point it to your community folder. It'll do the rest. It'll pick out every aircraft that you have, right? Oh no, we're going to get run over by an engine. <laughs> oh jeez. <clears throat> Now, uh, right, is that flight done? It is, right. Over here, we're going to press some buttons. We're going to go to our operational flight plan. We're going to say we're going to there to there, yes. We're going to go into the aircraft. Dish. Import, yes. Excellent. We're going to say load the devil. Oh, no, we're not. We're not going to do that at all. Uh, 52 passengers, right. Now, let's see if we can do this right. Menu. Delete the flight plan. Right, now. Ah, brilliant. Ah, this is brilliant. Uh, ooh, ooh, copy a flight plan. Oh, wait, I didn't download it yet. So watch this now, right? Sim brief downloader. Do, do, do. Refresh. Downloaded. Dish. Dish. And there it is! Option number one. Let's go with number one, please. I'll pick a one, please. What was your one's name? What was your one's name? The letters game. The game of the letters. Cheryl? Was it Cheryl? Surely you can't be Cheryl. Was it Cheryl? I'll have a D, please. Oh, no. I'll have a vowel, please. Carol! It was Carol. Right. Two there, please. Oh, wait. That's a big ten four, good buddy. That's a big ten four, good buddy. Boss Flight Simmer is here! That's a brilliant! Welcome in, my dude! There's been absolutely nothing but professional streaming tonight. Flying by the numbers, right? And uh, not trying to take Hello the one, 146 into the bush at all. Kane Lafford! Hello there. Right, uh, we need a... Uh, Jesus, what number? We need a one, please, Carol. Gosh. And, oh, my hand. And just like that, all was well in the realm. This is brilliant. Uh, fuel and data. Lieutenant Commander Data. Right, that's synced. Brilliant. Uh, next page. Yep. Uh, fuel options. Uh, no, leave that alone. Flight plan. Menu. Departure. Uh, according to the new flight plan that I have on Simbrief, I'm going to copy this gadget now into the chat by using ways of science. And mystery. Uh, and uh, Streamlabs. <clears throat> Hang on, we... Uh, ooh, now. <laughs> Get rid of that, put that in, and horse that in. Now, lads, if you press exclamation... I can't even speak! Exclamation point. Root. It'll tell you where you are, right? Uh, hello again, it's great to see you. Uh, would you look at the state of it? Right? Look at the state of it, man. It's unbelievable. Right, horse that over there. And it is a departure, runway 30. Uh, give us a two, please, Carol. Enter. There's no SID. Flight plan. Menu. Arrival. Uh, runway 05. Give us a one, please, Carol. Gush. There's no star. And there's no, uh, there's no approach. <laughs> right, it's grand, though. It's fine, right? It's fine. Now we could put in an altitude of this, but sure, listen, it's given us 2150 here. Now, if I wanted to put in an altitude, Tovad, if I put in, I don't know, uh, 140, no, how do we do this now? VNAV. Yes. Uh, target VS. <whistles> target VS, call it 1500. Oh, that's totally wrong. What are you doing? Target. No. Why is it giving me a minus?
How can I change that, lads? Maybe it doesn't matter. Target V-Speed? I don't think it likes that, does it? Getting around the sound bugs in the Vulcan. Really? I had the flu for the last few days, and to make it worse, we've had no milk, so I can't even have a proper cup of tea. <sighs> Where's this button? Hang on, Keen. I'll play that bit of music for you again. Oh, hang on. This is even worse, sir. Did that work? We take this moment to think of our good friend, Keen. Unable to have a proper cup of tea after getting over the man flu. It's times like this, we truly do need that community spirit to help us along. Keen, do you ever have tea without milk? Just, you know, to try it for science. Do you know what I mean? That's VS. Yeah, it's VS. I want my altitude. So it needs to go in here. Current position to Tovad. Three, please, Carol. At flight level one, four, zero. No, that's all wrong. Three, please, Carol. One, four, zero, zero, zero. How's that? Yeah, that'll work. Target V speed. I can't get rid of the plus. Uh, call it 1500. Osway Zimmer says the minus part is good, so we'll go with that. Brilliant. Thoughts and prayers. Uh, sending milk and sugar, right? First world problems, right? Do you know what I mean? Uh, it's brilliant. Uh, I have... I was so desperate, though, I even considered my dog's milk. I I, I read somewhere you could uh, milk a cat. <clears throat> Where's my cat? Caleb, uh, good to see you, man. You may need to drink green tea. Have Earl Grey tea. You'll transform into Patrick Stewart. You know, try some honey. You could try some honey. Uh, right, plane. This is going to be a short takeoff. But we need to make sure we don't make a mess of it. So, my flight plan is in. The didgeridoo is put in. 140. And that. Yes. El Nav. Yes. We'll go heading mode just in case things go terribly wrong, right? Earl Grey tastes like boiled socks. <laughs> I once tried Earl Grey. Because, you know, I want to be like Captain Picard. Well, I did at that stage because my hair was starting to fall out. But uh, it's it since, you know, enough fell out and then it's like, right, we'll slow it down. So I was going to go for the Picard look. Didn't need to. What server are we in? Felipe, we're currently on Join FS. And Oz, if you haven't seen this already, maybe you have, right? But see this person here in a longitude. The says citation longitude, right? Well, wait till you see a bit of science here now, right? So that's Soaring AJ. I can see he's in a longitude, right? But I can say to this machine, hey, will you change that for me for a second? And we're going to put Soaring AJ into a uh, something a little bit more comfortable. Slide into the nice little, um, the evening attire, if you will. And we'll put him into a tornado. Watch this. <laughs> now, what's... The planes are... That's how happy they are. What's that sound I'm looking for? You know, like... You know, it's like a choir or something. You know... Duh, 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 duh. That, that'll work. You see, friends... Don't mind the fact that he's hopping around the place. But I was able to transform him. I am Optimus Prime. I turned him into a tornado that's jumping up and down the place like a mad idiot. Now we can change him into, it's a happy little plane. Uh, we can change him into something else. Sorry, AJ, sorry now, you're our, you're our test pilot for this. Let's, let's change him again. Let's see now, let's see. Uh, how about the XF-11? Give it a second. There he is! He's still hopping around the place, but man alive, doesn't he look fancy? So, Oz Flight Simmer. 
you know, this will only work um, with PC pilots. You can do nothing with Xbox and you need to have the Microsoft servers turned off. So multiplayer is turned off, right? I will say this though. Do you remember those streams where you're in like a Cessna and you're plagiarized and, you know, upset by like a 747 flying straight into you? Well, you can even hide the devils if you want. You can change what their aircraft looks like. You can hide them. And by having your own server, you can just access it to your own peoples. You give a password, you get them to join. So the one that we use, the server, is called uh, the TTM Flying Circus. Hey, good morning. Uh, which is over here, look. If you go to View, Hubs, and you ramble down here, TTM Flying Circus, that's us. Right? Hey, Pico, thank you for subscribing, man. Cheers. Uh, yeah, people can run both, you know. If they're being attention-seeking Aegis, you can turn them into unicorns. I love that, Muse. I absolutely love that. It's a great bit of kit. If you don't know uh, what it is, just put in exclamation point join FS. Uh, there's a video there. Gibbo uh, looked after the video and he'll talk you through it, how it works. It's very straightforward. Very straightforward. All right? Now, I better change Soaring AJ back to what he was. He's he, he's not in that. Balls, oh, no, you're in the longitude. Longitude. Uh, so that's going to be a Sobo. Or is it? Or it's going to be a Cessna Citation Longitude. Brilliant. Hang on a second. Am I getting the pausing stutters? I don't believe it. I'm getting the pausing stutters and I have multiplayer turned off. You are joking. I am, look, I'm actually getting them. I don't believe it. How do we solve this one, lads? So my entire, my entire idea that multiplayer was the issue, I've now been, you know, foiled by my own foolery. So multiplayer is in fact turned off and yet the sim is doing the thing. So... Exactly what Alison Johnson said earlier on. Alison was correct. I didn't doubt her. I just, you know, my experience was a little bit different. But yes, so we have to read. Oh, Jesus. But the good news is this won't take long, you know. Alison, I'll never, ever, ever doubt you again. It's got to be one of the models. Maybe. But the fact that I have multiplayer turned off shouldn't be. Like, it just really shouldn't be. It shouldn't be any of these issues at all. You know what I mean? Uh, now, what else was I going to do? Uh, put that into your programs folder. Yes. And we'll just relaunch the sim. Now, here's one for you as well, right? So, uh, in Australia, it's morning time. It is, right? So, uh, Oz, you're night time tonight, right? Um, hang on. I need to show you something. So, you're night time. Task manager, hold down control key. It stops the protest without jumping about. Ah, okay. Um, have a look at this. Look, you're tonight time in Ireland. So my time, continue in normal mode. My time in the morning is going to be your evening. Yeah. Look what's happening in Ireland. So like seven o'clock my morning, about nine o'clock my morning is probably. What are that? Oh, MDA, you're the same. So what time is my, what time is my nine o'clock in your tomorrow morning? If that makes sense. Nightsep says, Murph, just a consolation. I'm flying along 8, eight FPS here, similar to yours. That's nuts. Uh, Rookie Pilot says, Sim Update 15, beta memory management uh, seems to be helping. That's what I'm hoping for. More mods, more problems. Eh, kind of. Look at the state of the weather, right? Come 11 o'clock, like you're talking 60 knot gusts around Ireland tomorrow. It's called Storm Kathleen. You woke up at the moment you see two Murphs. Um, tomorrow morning, right? So yeah. 7 p.m. So 7 p.m. tonight, we're going to have 70 knot gusts over. Like you have to take something out here for a spin. You know, the 146 maybe. Or I don't know what else could you do. What else could you take? An ATR could be tricky in this, wouldn't it? Flying for fun, it'd be great flying weather, man. Great flying weather. Absolutely. Roughly 10 a.m. 
Take out a balloon. Yeah, it seems sporty. It's incredible. 9 a.m. tomorrow, uh, Irish time is 7 p.m. for Melbourne. Ah, okay. Try a kite. Doesn't matter what you fly in. It's like 60 knots, lads. So like, remember the Aran Islands we flew out here the last time? <clears throat> There's three little airports out in the Aran Islands, right? Come 10 or 11 o'clock Irish time tomorrow, they will just be getting 60 knot crosswinds. And they are small, narrow runways. So like, you can take off from Shannon, right? Out of Shannon Airport. I just kind of ramble across County Clare until you get out to the Aran Islands. Extremely challenging. Likely Dublin will operate runway one uh, six. Will they though? This is the weather equivalent of Murph reading everything. Oh Jesus, I've just been keened. It's been a while since I've been keened. Where's that button? It's over here, look. Ooh! Uh, but yeah, the cats play the dogs in Adelaide. The cats play the dogs? Hmm. That's mad looking, isn't it? Right, we're just waiting on the sim to do his thing. The bot botted Keen. I did. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, that's, that's payback. Brilliant. But yeah, so that's what's happening tomorrow. So, uh, right, we're just waiting on the gadget to load back in. I'm going to start on the runway and then off we go. And all should be well in the realm. Or at least that's what we hope, you know. How's the five-day forecast going? Ooh. Five days. Uh, it's actually... It's, over here, it's pretty good. Uh, like, next week is supposed to be fairly okay, I think. Yeah, the wind is calm. Temperature is supposed to be coming up a bit, you know? There's high pressure. Like, it, that, that's going to bring pleasant weather into Ireland kind of next week. Uh, there's a, a high pressure just finally comes in and that'll dominate. Uh, and then it gets crap again. Feck, 10 degrees, lads, for God's sake. Yeah, not fantastic. Look at it, it's all mad weather. Mad, I tell you. Right, we're in. Brilliant. Pressing the buttons here at a rate of knots. What was the airport? What's oh, up here somewhere? Beaver Creek. Uh CV No said. CZ, yes. CZ. What end of the runway was it? I can't remember. It was this end. Goosh. That's me departure, and I'm sticking to it. Load them up. Load them up. Uh, unless you're an Aussie, you wouldn't understand. Uh, rare 1 6 ops in Dublin tomorrow. Really? That'll be the same on Vatsim as well. Or is that the real world, or would it be on Vatsim? To be fair, it would be a weird stream if you didn't read the chat. It would be very odd, actually, wouldn't it? Hello, it's me. Right. That's the end of it. Look how beautiful it is when we don't have live weather on. Live time and weather, please. And now, come on, Sim. That's not live weather. Will you take control of your life? That's not live weather. Oh, engines are coming up, though. That's a good sign. Right. I've had to do all this again. I do have to do all this again. Briefly. There we go. Live weather has done the thing. Import. Go. Uh, oh, it's snowing. How beautiful is this? Uh, flight plan. Give us a one, Carol. Dish. Forget everything else. We're totally grand. Brilliant. Uh, fuel and performance. Just leave it be, Murph. Let's just do our own thing. Uh, stamp up. Ah, leave it on. Right. Getting a bit of a range. That's good. Lights. Anti-ice. Well, it's snowing. We're going to need them. Engine air, put them on. Uh, cabin air, that's all okay. That's all okay. That's all okay. Uh, they're all okay. They're okay. That's not okay. That's not okay. And they're okay. Beautiful. Uh, fasten seatbelts. Glare shield Dreamy, light. sleepy, Jesus. nighty, snoozy snooze. Who was that? Uh, oh, it's a proper dark look. Right, now, how are we looking? Are we looking good? We're looking good. Flaps, 18. Right, we're doing the thing again. Join FS, yes, yes, join FS. Uh, connected. Where have they gone? They've disappeared.
We shall cycle join FS. Give it a sec. We're going to turn off join FS. And we'll turn it back on again. Uh, no stars for 1 6. Vectors only. That'll be, it's going to be nuts tomorrow. Nuts. Right, connect to the network. There's me, and then there's a few more. Brilliant, brilliant. There we are. Hello, friends. Right. Now, what's the caution light on for? Are we ready, sports fans? Break off. Hold the toe brakes. What's Fanula doing beside us again? Get out of me plane, Fanula. Right. Are you ready? Uh, that gadget. 14 we wanted. Thank you. Right, friends, here we go. It's raining mad outside. Power coming in. Oh, computer. Test. Take off mode selected. V speeds put in. TMS sets take off. Power coming in. Hold the brakes. Power set and watch it. Brakes off. Yup. Roll in, roll in, roll in. Keep that wagon, Jesus. Come on, speed. Speed alive on both sides. Speed alive. Come on, Betsy. 80 knots was checked. You can do it! Come on, you devil, get up, will you? B1. Rotate. Yep. Jesus, up, 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 up. Barely. Barely. <sighs> You're quite far down the runway. Yes, gosh and drat were the words coming to mind. Huh? Oh yeah, hang on. Get the flaps out of the equation now for a minute. Make up your mind. You said to send. Thanks very much. Oh, that's my T cas. All ah, right. Wow! Look at the Vulcan. Even the trees were worried. Gear is up. Yes. All right, let's start a little snaky turn to the right. Keeping an eye on our speed. Right, lads, we're going to do one of these again. Xbox pilots press one. If you're on the PC, press two. And if you're still here wondering, how does he even get out of bed in the morning? Like, he, he makes everything so complex. Um, <clears throat> you press number three. Yeah, baby. Bush flying in the 146. They said it couldn't be done. Dan, we believe them.
I mean, like, would you look at the state? Look at the state. It's unbelievable. What do we say? 14. I'd say stay going. Let's go 16, right? Uh, autopilot on. We'll go nav mode. We're going to go VS mode. Uh, let's see here now. That's kind of okay. We have some weather radar activity. A thousand to go. I'm, I'm saying 16. We might need a little bit higher, actually. I don't know what happened there. Let's go, let's go 18. Oh, wow. Look at the view. Isn't that stunning? That's absolutely gorgeous. And it's just clouds, like, you know. Should be in the RAF of the Vulcan. Yes, Max. That'd be awesome. Man alive. That's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely stunning, lads. Stunning, we say. We're dragging this one on tonight. And I sent a mad agent ahead to use the chainsaw. Man, Kazaki. Coming up on 18. 18 won't be enough. Let's go 22. There to be. APU, good luck to you. PTU can probably go off at this stage. Oh, yes. Look at that Vulcan just behind us still. That's just for the APU. That's all good. Colonel Fork. You're very welcome in, my dude. Great to see you, man. Why does my GSX window look different than yours? I could have broken mine, Cyrus. It's me, like. I tried to do everything right, and then, you know, I just make a mess of it. 27 on PC, 1 on console, 138 passengers, plus a Murph. 31 days to go to the Eurovision, with lots of stuff happening over the next few weeks. Stay tuned in the Discord. Many thanks, Keen. We should break out of the clouds soon. Look at this. Look at it, lads. The state! Look at that. What a reveal, look. What's the caution now for? I reckon 24 is needed. We need Jack Bauer at altitude, you know what I mean? That's absolutely gorgeous. Isn't it stunning? That is amazing. So our mission tonight was to take the 146 out for some bush operations. And so far, it's kind of doing it. It's kind of doing it. We landed with about 11 feet to spare. Exactly how I like it. <laughs> There's 24, we're just on the ceiling. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. Yeah, we got contrails on uh, Join FS. Look at the rainbow there and everything, look. Look at the stadium Microsoft Flight Sim.
Jeez. I gotta say, it looks incredible, doesn't it? MDA says, did anyone else have to click on GSX twice every time to open it? Yeah, a lot of the time, yeah. If it's giving you issues, restart the Kootle engine. Um, and we should be good then. We should be good then. That's just incredible looking, isn't it? Look at that, lads. Has there ever been such, you know, an incredible representation of just flight? Without a shadow of a doubt, two of their very best aircraft. Like, look at the state of them. It's just beautiful. It's incredible. I think that's Kahari then behind us as well. In the 736. Osmite Zimmer, have a great day, my dude. We'll see you soon. Look at that for a view. That's incredible. Isn't it gorgeous? Like, it is absolutely gorgeous now. Huh? Do you know that this aircraft was designed by de Havilland? Really? Really? Well, British Aerospace Engineering, you know. Ah, Dan! Double Rainbow Man? It is a Double Rainbow Man! Look! The cut of it! Somewhere over the... Ra Wait, there's two of them. Try play that in the ukulele now. You have two rainbows. Uh, Murph, I know this is uh, of subject, but is there any chance you know of any devs producing a fully modeled 747? PMDG will release a 747, but it won't be in this it won't be on this platform of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, there's also a 747 classic overhaul, similar to what Black Square have done with the Steam Gauge overhauls. They're uh, they're bringing out a 747 classic. And they're making good old progress on that. Look at this. It's incredible. Oh, we're through the clouds. Man, that is so good looking. It's fantastic, yeah, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, it's even done right in the simulator where a double rainbow, it goes Roy G. Biv. Biv G. Your, does it? Roy G. Biv, I, that's how I learned it as well. Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, India, India, indigo, violet. Roy G. Biv. Look at this, though. What an amazing aircraft. Isn't it gorgeous? Just Fly have done such an incredible job with this, lads. It's just painfully stunning. Like, it really, really is. The Vulcan black smoke is a little bit off. Wait till you see what um what Sim FX brings into the mix. Look at that for a view. Ah lads. If there's gonna be a screenshot, I mean do you know what I mean. Click! Clickety click click click. Lots of screenshots. That is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm pressing buttons now, I don't know what else I'm pressing. That's insanely good looking. Murph, how do you feel about Just Flight's quality? Jesus, don't go there, Colonel Fork. <laughs> don't go there. Like, this stuff? Just like their old, when their older stuff first came out, it was like, it was the, t the best. You couldn't get better than it. Um, and they're, they're definitely replicating that with their new add-ons. You know? Like, they did put a 
a fairly detailed post on one of my YouTube videos for a review I did, and they were just like, well, listen, you know, it's not viable for us to keep doing updates. And my argument was, well, okay, fair enough. But like, you know, are you going to charge the same price for like last year's jersey kind of thing? That was the point I made, but like, who am I to tell them how to do their business? I still think they are like a very, very, uh, you know, talented development group. I mean, look, both of these aircraft are just flight. These are spectacular. And like the version two update uh, for the 146, it's unbelievably good. It's just stunning. Uh, did you get the update from the Microsoft Store? Uh, no, I got it through just flight. This is stunning. There's a lot flying here. I'd well believe it. I'd well believe it. Now, I'm on Join FS for the moment. Which is we're over speed. It's grand. Uh, we're on Join FS at the moment. But so far, so good. Uh, super tight. Yeah, sounds good, man. What time? We quarter to 11. Eh, we got a little bit to go. Igsum is the next waypoint. That's where we're headed. Jesus, the views here. Are the contrails... Well, the contrails for just flight? Yes. The contrails on the other aircraft? No. And, like, the contrail is good, because, like, you are getting from... You are getting four engines. A little bit hard to see, but you are getting four engines. The contrails don't appear directly behind the aircraft. They, they go out a bit. You know what I mean? Look at the state of that. That's ridiculous. Isn't that ridiculous? That's ridiculous. Originally designed by the Havilland, it's 146 design. The Havilland were taken over by Hawker Sidley in 1963. And when they started uh, getting to build in 1973, it was named the HS146. In 1997, Sorry, in 1977, Hawker Sidley merged with British Aerospace and the aircraft was renamed BAE-146. That's awesome, surely, Dev. Fraud Hammer! Uh, I started flights him now and Siege as a spring sale from the 29th of March. No one even told me in, <laughs> in the last two weeks. Oh, no! Fraud Hammer! There was a sale there in the sim! Patrick, you take care of my dude. Have a great evening. And enjoy your weekend, man. Ah, look at this state. Look at this state. It's unbelievable. Screenshots are going to be on overload tonight. That's incredible looking. <laughs> We got the aerials in there, the antennas in there. Like, it's just absolutely stunning. Beautiful aircraft. Cyrus T, would you look at the state of that? Yeah, baby. That's incredible looking, Cyrus. Jesus. Uh, if the quality we're going to get from the Fokker 70 100, then it's going to be amazing. It really is. It's very, very nice looking, yeah. I always thought the 146 would make an awesome private jet, says Tail Rotor. Oh, agreed, agreed. Juice says, imagine looking out the window of the cockpit and seeing a Vulcan. Right? He's back there somewhere. Do, 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 No. Crikey, there he is, look. Oh, Jesus. Stewardess, there's something outside the window. It was fish or chicken. Yes, I remember now. I had lasagna. Look at the state of it. That's incredible. Uh, the Queen also agreed. That's right, the, the, the Royal Jet was a, a 146. 
Or was that an Avro RJ? Look at that. Imagine seeing that out your window. How does the quality of the 146 compare to the F28? Daz Higgy, at the moment, <gasps> the 146. Something on the way. So slightly ahead. Thing. Slightly ahead. The 146, because of this update, it's slightly ahead because they have a lot of great features. Uh, but as far as I know, they aren't. Look at this. As far as I know, they, they will be bringing some updates to the F-28 as well. The F-28 is a superb aircraft. And it's one of the kind of... It's one of the lesser known. It's kind of like the underdog because not an awful lot of people fly it. But it is one of the very best in the sim. I think now the 146... Like, this is so good. You know what I mean? They've taken what was a really, really nice aircraft and it kind of got sidelined only because, you know, PMDG, Phoenix, all these lads were throwing out the stuff. But now with this update, I mean, this just comes back out of your hangar now. It's 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 a challenging aircraft and you have so many features. Like, look it, if I wanted to say, listen, it's time to put on coffee. Like a ramble over to the coffee maker, turn the divil on, Check how much water we have. I'm going to put in cold water. That needle will move. And then I'm going to brew it. And you have sounds for all of this as well. Can I turn off that little alarm? Now, if I was a button for an alarm, where would I live? Surely there's a button. It does look incredible, but complicated. It's not that uh, it's not that complicated. There's a lot of logic to it, right? Uh, the navigation systems, the UNS-1, this is complicated if you've never used it before. But Just Flight have included a full tutorial, you know, the full manual just on this unit. It's incredible. It really, really is. Cyrus T, that's just amazing, by the way, that livery that you're working on. Like, the absolute state of it. Don't mind me for a minute. I'm just making sure we don't, like, you know, miss our place that we're landing. Uh, 146 is on sale for 53 US dollars at the moment. It's, it's just incredible. Ah, Gibbo! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Gibbo Ireland has rambled into the chat. Who's not even in Ireland at the moment. No, no, no. Gibbo is away somewhere fancy. Well, fancier than Ireland, I suppose. Um, Let me see. Lads, can we get the old pints of Guinness emotes into the chat for Gibbo? I want to see the most amount of Guinnesses we've ever seen in our lives. Pick up the phone. <laughs> that 
that's absolutely fantastic looking, isn't it? Isn't it, lads? Look at this. Ah, for God's sake. It's like a... It's like a... It's like advertising for Just Flight. Hang on a second. As, as awesome as that... Uh, as awesome as the 7.3 looks, we got to get this picture here. Look. Look at the cut of this. This is ridiculous. Look at the state of this. Isn't that incredible looking? I mean, come on, lads. Isn't it just like... Jesus, look how good it is. And then the terrain is a bit wonky, but don't mind that. That looks so good. <laughs> Doesn't it look so good? Who's in the F28? Pull her up there a small bit. We're 25 degrees here. What? 25 degrees? Yeah, baby. It's 25 degrees where Gibbo is. I don't believe you. We've storm Kathleen here tomorrow, Gibbo. I'll tell you all about it. Don't worry. You'll never guess the weather we had. Jace, here's someone else coming in. Oh, we need to descend rapidly. Right, don't panic. The runway that we're looking for is below us. Right, don't panic now, right? Get ourselves all worked up for this one. Muse fan is out. Muse, you take care of my dude. Right. Autopilot off. Power coming out. Deploy the things that slow us down and watch them fly by. <laughs> right, we're slowing down now like an absolute devil. It wants us on runway 05. So we're going to have to do some sort of a mad circle to land here. Haynes Junction is the name of this place. So easy does it. Easy does it. Hangar Studio says, I learned so much from watching you, Murph, and your Discord. The sim looks amazing with the sentence you have with NVIDIA. I needed this. Not at all. And thank you so much. Do. Thank you very much indeed. Some people aren't mad on me filters. I don't do much. Like, I, I, I do it the slightest bit of colour toning and I bump up the shadows. I mean, that's pretty much it. The bird telescope will be in your garden after the storm, probably. We won't be making any unnecessary sandwiches, though. You know, Teresa Mannion should be all over it. Look at this. What a beautiful part of the world to fly in, isn't it? Isn't it, though? Right, so we're descending here nicely. I say nicely. Right? Just me and the lads flying in a Diamond 4 in the F-14. Nice. What's that sound? What's the coffee? The coffee's ready. Thanks. I thought there was something leaking somewhere. Is the coffee? The logs too. Uh, I'll go tie. The logs too. Look at this state. Isn't that amazing looking? This is just ridiculous. It's just incredible. Beautiful. Yeah, we're kind of heading towards the ground like a dart. Go handy now, Murph. Right, we've passed the runway. Uh, we'll go right, I suppose. 10,000. Yep, see, Betsy. Yeah, yeah, it's totally fine. Well, it's not really fine, but, you know, it's kind of fine. What's this? Are you a pilot or an air stewardess with the coffee? Oh, there's always time for coffee. Did you stop the Forza racing after your flight streams? Sometimes, uh, Lost Trucker. When I have time, I, I jump on, you know. But I don't have time tonight, I'm afraid. Uh, what are we doing next week? We have the Bremen flight next week. Soon, soon. 
Look at that. Is that an F-86? It is. Look at the mountains here. This is just insane looking. Look at that. This is beautiful. So we have an airport over there somewhere. You know, somewhere. My right, speed 200. Let's go for lots of flaps. I've been hand flying the Vulcan up here with you. No way! That's awesome, man. Oh no, the clouds just loaded in and it's now cloudier. Although, look at that. There's the runway. It's a gravel runway here, right? Now, we're still a bit high. 7,000 feet. Keep her going. Down through the clouds a bit. Keep an eye on that speed. One way's out there somewhere. Guys, look at the texturing on the engines, look. Oh! Look at the mountain ahead! Okay, drop the gear. Gear down. More flaps. Well, now this looks pretty. Ooh, F-86 look. Nice. There's the runway. More flaps. Steep approach. Speed looking all right ish. Ish. Twenty five hundred. Uh, continue in. Easy now. Flap set full. Sterling wandered off course. Uh oh. Bit of Toby I help us out. There's the runway. Little bit high. Now don't stall on approach. This is stunning out here, isn't it? Okay, continue in. Thank you, Viper. Uh, Proby Pete, we'll watch reminder or remainder offline. No worries, man. Have a great weekend. Thanks so much for tuning in. One thousand. Ah, oh, stuff is happening. Cabin crew, go handy. It's supposed to be a gravel runway. It looks terribly tarmacked from here. Cabin secure. Cabin secure. Brilliant. There's no one getting out. Oh, easy now. God almighty, there are trees. Kazaki, you didn't get rid of the trees. We'll just about fit with our wingspan, will we? Easy. Plus hundred. Alright. Here we're going. Watch out. Watch out for the guy flying upside down. Landing. Here we go, lads. It's all or nothing now. Find the trees. Oh, it is gravel. 50, 40, 30. Don't float. 20, 10. Ah, no! What are making the balls of it? Get out of there, Murphy! Get out of there! Go around! Speed check 
Get out of there, quick! Jesus! Speed checked below 205. Select flaps 18. I get the power back in. That was too close! Mav, good to see it! It's alright, that was the warm up. The flaps coming in. God almighty, Dougal, we'll have to do it again. We were so close as well. Alright, let's see what happens. No, speed brakes in. Let go around, right? It's at that time you would have heard all the passengers go in a hoop. We're bush flying it. It's a go around is fine. The grand. We hope. It hand flies so well, this thing. Man, look at look how good that looks. It's ridiculous. Do you ever hear the sounds of this outside? Hey QC Frank, thank you very much indeed. 12 months, man. Listen to the sounds, right? Are you ready now? That's incredible. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> A moment of silence for the victims, right? Okay. This is a really nice airport. It'd be handy with GA, but in an airliner. We'll get this. Get her down, lads. We need to get her down. We were way too high the last time. Clear of conflict. Thanks very much. All right, bring the speed back. Smallest field of land of the 47 on yet. Kerplunk. Firefly air for the strong of stomach among you. <laughs> okay, a bit of spoilers here. Slow us down. Looking good. There's 200. Not to flaps. Speed brakes in. We're all right. Gear down. Climb, climb, climb. More flaps. Keep descending. Here's a runway. All right, let's see what we can do here. What do you reckon, lads? Will we make it? Will we do the thing? <laughs> Flaps full. Speed looking a bit better. You wouldn't have got on this aircraft if you knew I was flying? Totally grand, Eamon! Do you know? 
I mean, it's as safe as houses, this thing. Easy now, Jemima. Watch the speed. Is that the P forty seven? we go. Watch your speed. 500. Looking good. Ish. Sorta. Six hours later. Right, gear is down. Flaps are set. Easy does it now. I've been drinking. I have what? ten. I've been drinking like a mad idiot. Right. Come on, you devil now. Minimums. Minimums. Nothing. Let her down. Let her down. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. 20. 10. Touchdown! 195! We'll take it. Dreamy, sleepy, nighty, snoozy, snooze. The timing was off ever so slightly! 80 knots. 80 knots, diesel. Flaps in. 60 knots. Spoilers in. And a flyover with a Vulcan. Look at that! Amazing. Absolutely amazing. All the bouncing planes. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. He actually stopped easy at the end. Oh, nice, Mr. Dan. Good job. Yeah, but no reverses on this, you know. So, it's it's fair to say the 146, it can operate in unprepared uh, airports, unprepared runways. Like, this is gravel. Uh, our first landing was on grass, well, ice technically, right? What types of kerosene did they put them in? Kangaroo petrol. Kangaroo petrol. Um, man alive, what an incredible, incredible aircraft. Just Flight have knocked it out of the ballpark. Oh, Jesus. Just Flight have knocked it out of the ballpark with this. They really, really have. It's absolutely brilliant. Are those Twitch planes? Right. Yeah, that's joined the vest. That's what they're hopping around. And... Just loaded with jumping beans for fuel, right? Awesome flying. 737-600. We got a couple of uh, 146s. The Sabre is with us. The Longitude. Absolutely brilliant, lads. A very, very, very well done to you. Yeah, they're just happy to see us. Absolutely. Just look at the weather and everything. Happy little planes. I will be spending... A lot more time in this 146. It's excellent. It just is. If you guys haven't picked it up already, I mean, this is definitely going to be a contender for your uh, for your virtual hangar. It is that good. It is that good. So, park and brake on. And, oh, I never turned on the APU. What an absolute catastrophic failure, Murphy. You're grand. Engine's coming off. Connect the ground power. Why not? 
Chuck's in play. Door's open. There's a Vulcan. Stairs out. Ground power on. And that'll be that. Ladies and gentlemen, the 146 Professional version 2 is capable of the bush flights. That's pretty cool. I persuaded you to buy it. It's really, really good. You have a million miles on this bird. Great plane. It's so good. It's so, so good. Right, lads, that's going to do it. Um, I want to thank you all so very, very much indeed for tuning in tonight. This was super fun. Not without its issues. Uh, that friggin' bug uh, with the thing doing the thing. But um, listen, I mean, we got here in the end. Uh, for those of you who jumped on to join FS, thank you very much. We always keep join FS as a backup when things like this happen. Uh, and then we figured out that it wasn't actually join FS or the multiplayer fixing it. Brilliant, right? Uh, but it still works out very, very good. And you can see some of the um, some of the options you have with join FS. Like uh, Sobo, please take note of some of these basic features in join FS, like changing aircraft sounds like it just it takes so much pressure off when you can do this sort of stuff you know uh it's not only capable of bush flying but it can do that with a murph at the yoke right brilliant um so thank you all so very very much indeed have a great weekend um get flying in ireland tomorrow between 9 and 12 the storm is nuts and uh we're back to you on monday night with our if4 atc series uh more of that on the way uh then next week wednesday uh we'll have the news and then Friday, we're starting our Bremen flight for 2024. Uh, and it's broken down into kind of different legs over the next kind of four weeks. So uh, do be sure to hit the exclamation point Discord. That brings you to our Discord. And uh, to our team of mods, uh, to everyone who joined us here this evening, thank you all for the raids, all the support. Uh, to our friends here on YouTube as well, thank you for all the likes and subscribes. And uh, stand by, we'll do a raid over to the Oz Flight Simmer. And uh, well, I'll see you very, very soon. Take care. Don't be that curious. It's like, no! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did, you <see laughs> Did you see what happened to Kane? He just bounced off it. Please, somebody clip us that. Kane Lafford flew into the side at 100 knots. He just literally bounced off it and ended up over here. Ah, someone has to clip that, lads. Kane Lafford. God, right. Jesus, what's her speed? 70 knots.